What's cracking? It's your homie, Lil Mystery. You are now listening to the Emo Brown Podcast, the downest fool in Chula Vista since AC Slater, homie. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen and low lives and Barry Just Vera the third from Chula Vista, representing Latinx all over the country. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Metiche Martes, because some of us were out of town. And that's just how that fucking works. Bro. This motherfucker said right. we. That's just how that fucking works, bro. Brought to you by the wonderful people at Grasshopper for all your medicinal recreational cannabis needs. Tap into the wonderful people at Grasshopper. Today is Toker Tuesday. We don't normally offer Toker Tuesdays on a Monday, but it's Tuesday. So take your ass over to Grasshopper. Make sure you take your card, you make it clack. You get three pre-rolls for $12. You get 30% off, so, uh, what is it, supported brands. I don't know who it is, but there's a bunch of there's supported brands. Of there's a lot of them out there. Grasshopper, for all the things you need, here is some weed. Tribal Streetwear. Que onda compa Bobby? I talked to Bobby this morning. He's out driving from Arizona. I said, tune in to Matisha Martes, bro. We'll be talking about you. But if you are in town and you need some tribal gear... Head on over to the lower left, and he'll go ahead and provide it, bro. Get it with discount, 20% off, 10% off all fucking Pendletons. How many Pendletons do you own, Casas? Uh, only like two. Only like two? They're like, have to that game up. they're like $180 full. That's a lot of money. So 10% is $18 off. Make turns into $162 Pendleton. Still a lot, bro. That's a lot of money. I'm going to buy some. Buy me one. How do we get Pendleton Done. to sponsor the podcast? You gotta get better. You gotta be a lot better. What size do you wear? What size do you wear? XL. Okay. What are you doing? Damn. Well, no, my brother owns a ton of Pendletons, and mm. he lost a lot of weight, so he's been selling them. Do I look oh, like? Yeah, I'm <laughs> do I look like secondhand <laughs> Pendleton guy? Uh, I want my shit to have. It's, no, down. it's what's up. Uh, no, you can get get the the old ones are good. Yeah. All right. Make it happen. Yeah, you get She's gonna go over there and be I'll like, Steve hey, would look hey, really hey. good in this. <laughs> you love my colors. Make it happen. Hey, Silk Cloud, SilkCloud.com. Emo thirty. Go online or take your ass over to the lower left and you can get it. Get your Silk Cloud there. Look at that guy. Silk Cloud Company <laughs> in the clouds, mm. above the clouds. I like him. And Ruiz, when he came in here and he shot his shot with the brand and everything, I rock his shirts. Good dude. Get your discount, Emo Brown Social Club members. It's out there for you. We're doing all of this for you. But wait, there's more. There's more. 9-5 and Arts and Rec. 9-5 and Arts and Rec for the homies. Look at those shades. I do need a, a pair of new shades. Look at that. I need a, a jaw structure line like you that. You should get some like circle shades, like circle Dr. Shades? Octopus. Like fucking... I know that's the Rock- reference. Yeah, you're not going to get it all. I don't get that's a Spider-Man shit. Damn fool. He look good in circle shades like fucking uh, John Lennon. You know who John Lennon is? Yes, Strawberry Fields. There you go. Probably a song circle you shades. don't relate to since you're allergic to strawberries. I just found out. It's a very dangerous song for me. Fuck, dog. How are you allergic to strawberries? God hates me. Fuck. What about when Mama Kush offered you the edible lingerie with the fucking strawberry <laughs> flavored chonies? I don't eat pre-worn that's lingerie. Oh, that sucks. Hey, that's good. All lingerie is edible if you try hard enough. White Remember people, that, people. White people going to white people, man. Wow. <laughs> Nine farts, 20%. 20% off, 9.5, bro. An arts and rec. Take your card in there, make it clack. Get it all back. Look at that. Oh, man. Even if you don't skate, even you're a, just a poser, go in there, bro. <laughs> Buy yourself some skate apparel. Especially if happen. you're a poser. You'll look yeah, more like, legit. Like, these dudes actually skate. You know, they actually fucking shred. Not us. They don't even have wheels on their boards. What are you that. talking about? Yeah, you know what? That's how you practice. <laughs> that's, how you, that's, how you, that's how the real guys that's do it. Practice, no fool. wheels. Arts and rec, the homies. Barrio Logan, Trula Vista location. Make it happen. Today, joining us here from Three Punk Ales is our number one sales rep, our only sales rep, so he's both first and last. <laughs> he kills it. He's out there spreading the word, spreading the seed of Three Punk Ales throughout Southern California regions and beyond soon. Frique Montalvo. He is also yes. an MMA fighter. But before we get into all that and you start dropping dick on how awesome you are <laughs> in the MMA ring, what do we have going on this week at Three Punk Ales? Uh, well, we released the Pelotero. Mm, let me see. <laughs> Toss it. Mm. Nice dog. We have the manic Hispanic beer. Ooh, give that to fucking Casas, Casa, bro. That's a go. Tell us a little bit about these beers, bro. Why? Why are we brewing them as a word? Wah, 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 wah. We brew it for it's brewed. For, it's our uh, Imperial IPA, mm. and it's like our homage to the Padres. Spell homage, bitch. H O M A G. Oh, what about the accent? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Homage? Cool. Don't be using words you can't spell, ho. And then we re-released the Kill the Poor, which was out for about two, three weeks now. Nice. Kill so the Poor, man. I'll take the big one. 
Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn. Dog, oh, man. Indeed. It all went downhill from here. I wanted to throw it. <laughs> you want some hot dogs, too? Yeah, let's go. Pelotero confirmed. Gonna open it. Just gonna... catching it, dude. This... So Pelotero yeah. right now confirmed. We have Pelotero available in four packs. It's available on draft. It's available yes. on all the things. We have the hat, the Pelotero hat. We have the Pelotero shirts. They're available today. Coming to the taste room today. I don't know. But yeah, you might you might have one if we get in there. Pelotero, Maybe. we put that out only through Padre season. It's damn right near a triple IPA or yes or no, Kevin. Give me a thumbs up if it is. Close to a triple A. So it triple IPA, perdón. A big oh, motherfucker over there. Ten percent, dog. So it's only available through Padre season and beyond. Regular yes. season and the postseason. Great beer. People love it. It sells out quick. Bars scoop it up from us on the ASAP. This next beer, though, the Manic Hispanic Fool. The Manic Hispanic beer is awesome. It's our brown dark lager. Tasty. Part of the Flama Blanca family. Part of the Flama family. Am I right on that, too? Perfect. Look at that label. It even matches Casa's outfit today. Designed by Luis Perez the third, bro. Plays in the band Manic Hispanic, doing their thing. They're being in town May 6th. They're going to be in town this Saturday on uh, a soda bar. If you haven't scooped your tickets, make sure you grab those tickets, make it happen. Soda bar? You get close enough to touch them there. Yeah, real close. There's except <laughs> that big old, you almost have to when you're there. There's like a big stripper pole in the middle of the fucking no, pit, No, I think it's though. gone. It's gone. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. We'll bring it back. <laughs> now, I'm trying to work on getting at least Ephraim or somebody. Whoever in the manic Hispanic in the hood that wants to come down here and be on the podcast before the show, Casas and I are ready for you. Cruise on in. Let's make it happen. Speaking of Casas. Hey, Cece, what the fuck are we drinking? Hold on, Kiki. Oh, yeah. We're, we're going to get into you, bro. We're going to get into your fighting. <laughs> Cece, what the fuck are we drinking? Today, we are having a strawberry. Well, it's a strawberry martini, but I didn't have any martini glasses, so I served it over ice. I, it's inspired because Lexi loves yes. these from the Cheesecake Factory, <laughs> and I work there what for is, what a, a fucking decade. Shocker, bro. <laughs> and so They're I bomb. have the recipe. They used to use pearl rum, like pearl vodka. Oh, that that's what this rum. is from, huh? Um, strawberry yeah, martini. I remember now. Yeah. yeah. All right. Enjoy. Let me cheers you it's really delicious. quick. delicious. Salud. This is kind of technically my oh, birthday salud, week salud. episode. Yeah. I'm a little disappointed you came with this drink, but let's do it. <laughs> I haven't drank it yet. I haven't Yeah, but I got you a gift. Well, Matt and I did. <laughs> Oh shit, this is good. Mine tastes like Mountain Dew. Mm. Yeah. Berry. Okay, so before I didn't know you were allergic to strawberries. Otherwise, I would never made this. I'd rather people don't. We'll do no, watermelon I'm next week. Bringing strawberries. Berry straight from the Ozarks, sipping on some Mountain Dew at ten in the morning. But that's hard Mountain Dew, right? That it has like alcohol in there or what? It's like Play-Doh hard. It's not that hard. What's in there? It's hard though. Uh, Mountain Dew, zero sugar. A whole lot of fun. 5% alcohol. Oh, 5% alcohol. Oh, so it's like a seltzer. Less the seltzer. Thank you, Cece. This, this is bomb. This is very tasty, Cece. Maybe very at the Elwood tasty. someday. I don't know. We don't, yeah. make this, we don't make this at the Elwood? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we could. It's easy. What's in it? It's strawberries, lemon, simple. That's it. Hey, wait, sabe bueno. And it's Tito's? And fresh strawberries. All right. I yeah, accept, and it's Tito's. I accept this as being my birthday drink. It's good. Yeah, right, I get enjoy it. it. I'm going to enjoy it. You don't it. like it. Have one of these beers. I'm going to enjoy it while <laughs> Kiki tells us all about... His professional debut as a mixed martial artist, perro. Go ahead, Kiki. Tell us your name, your stage name, all the shit, fool. Oh, Enrique Montalvo. Uh, I guess my stage name is Freaky. Mm. But I still oh, haven't. Still get, ha <laughs> get Freaky with it, perro. Uh, <laughs> I still haven't used it in a fight, though. Like, it's just been in, like, it's, Oh, there's a fucking move? No, Called like, the freaky? no, what dude, is like it? my nickname? I haven't oh, okay, used it. Okay. Is it like the Boston Crab? You should do the Boston Crab. <laughs> yeah, no, as but that actually, that, that, that's actually been done in an MMA fight now. Oh man, tell so, us about MMA. What's going on? Uh, not much, man. I'm fuck training like six hours a day right now. Mm. Um, probably more because I gotta I wake up at five, go train all day, and go to the brewery to work, and mm. then go back to train at night. Damn, it's like a um, Rocky story. Yeah, fool. What? Fr freak about Boa. <laughs> <laughs> freak about Boa. I gotta spar like three days a week right now. Yeah, um, he I'm, showed up to work the other day with a black eye. <laughs> I was like, "Dog, if your sparring partner is fucking touching you up like this, what's yeah, going on?" You might want to reconsider. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, that was well, I mean, my sparring shit. partners are pro boxers, dude, and uh -huh. so it's like it, it evens out for me. Bro, so. you are a pro now, right? Yeah, well, this that's is the whole this, thing. this is professional yeah. shit now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna get paid for this shit. Yeah, you'll be on UFC for... pi Fight Pass and everything. UFC Fight Pass. Yeah. Oh, are you scared? Well, are you nervous? No, not really? No, you are ready? Yeah. What's your entry song? I don't know yet. R. Kelly. You let me. Ooh. My mom is telling me no. <laughs> <laughs> 
He throws, <laughs> he throws I think tainted, we should bring him back. He throws tainted <laughs> urine into the crowd. <laughs> He's just pissing in the crowd. He's like, what's up, freaking after Ellie? He, after he wins, he just pisses on his companion. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> the most important thing about a fighter is his entry song, dog. It's true. So you got to figure that shit out. You got to figure that shit well, out. Well, the last quickly. few times I walked out to Wu-Tang, so I don't know. Maybe all right, I'll, all right. I'll keep it going. Yeah. They're nothing to fuck with. Mm. I, I mean, maybe P.O.D. I don't know, dog. Maybe, oh, maybe we can make the deal today. What about song? Uh, well, maybe. Maybe we can make that shit happen yeah, today, bro. All yeah. right. June 2nd. Yes, sir. UFC Fight Pass. You're fighting here where? Sequan Casino. Resort. Do you have tickets? Are you selling tickets? Sequan. Well, I don't have tickets, but there's a link in my bio on my Instagram. Mm, mm, that, right uh, next to the OnlyFans one. Or did you take that one down? <laughs> no, that one can't Is there a conflict That's the of real moneymaker. He's no, not taking that shit down. down. Are you allowed to have an OnlyFans and a UFC fucking <laughs> Fight Pass link on the same page? Like, uh, is that fine? <laughs> on the link tree, bro. The link tree, bro. It's going to be on his shorts. <laughs> oh, are you going to sell your fucking gloves on OnlyFans when you're done? It's Chonies, oh, dude. I, I don't even know if I get to keep those gloves when I'm done. Are you, what kind of, what's going on here? You need sponsors? <laughs> yeah, I'm still right. looking for some sponsors. Okay, what um, does that look like? What does that sound like? What does that feel like? Uh, I mean, well, I just, depending on the sponsorship, I can go with, you know, what they offer. Uh, mm. I'm just looking right now to be able to get Damn, that sounds some affordable. money. I know, right? I know a group that could help you out. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually have Full Circle that's going to help. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Nice. Three punks as well. Hey, can you put threepunkales.com on your back, fool? Like like a like, like a, a fake tattoo? tattoo? Yeah. And a real tattoo. Dude, I'll, I'll give you $25 I, for that shit, dog. Now, how much you need to raise? What's your goal? Uh, right now, I need to I need to make at least eight fifty just to mm -hmm. pay my medicals. Okay, damn. Yeah, to Fucking, get, to get are you telling me that the what's that el, el dude the UFC? The owner? What's Dana name? White? Dana White doesn't cover you. Your fucking health thing? Fool doesn't cover. No, <laughs> we all have to pay for our own shit. Hey, take it easy, because if you make it to the top, fool. I don't want Dana White talking shit on you. You just got to take it easy. Who's this guy you're fighting? Who the, tell me uh, who the fucking guy. His name's Fran Breen. He's from uh, Liverpool. He comes out of Next Gen MMA, which is also Patty Pimblett's gym. Yeah, Liverpool? Dude. Already don't like him, so. though. Glory, Wait, glory, so United. You've, I know you've fought before, but is this like a bigger deal than your other fights? Uh, yeah, because it's pro, and then it's a big, like, Cage Warriors is a big promotion in Cage Europe. Cage Warriors? Mm -hmm. That scares me already, fool. So they're a big promotion in Europe, uh, and they come down here once, like, once a quarter. Cage one. Warriors. So we get four shows in, in uh, San Diego. UFC Fight Pass. How much is it going to cost me to get on UFC Fight Pass? That's a monthly special. Uh, that's right? a monthly special. All right. I think I have it, bro. We're going to watch it. Let's have a watch party. Let's do a companion. Let's do a companion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <I'm down. laughs> Wait, what day is it again? <laughs> Friday, June, June 2nd. 2nd. Friday, June 2nd, live here at the warehouse. No, we, we, go go we need to carry this man out on our shoulders. Do you want us to be there? <laughs> or do you, what do you want from us? How, bro, how I, it doesn't matter to me. The thing with me is when I'm in the fight, like, if people are there, I don't know. Because mm. I just... Because you're high. No. Oh. I focus in on... You're focused. On focused. You're focused. Okay. Is your family going to be there? Yeah. yeah. My, my mom... So my He's mom said know. she wasn't going to go. Because mm. she's like, No, mijo, no te quiero ver. Que no te, te quiero ver que te madre, ah. mijo. And then, <laughs> like, and she's like, going to hit you, it's yeah, going to be me. And then, but then like this... On her birthday, she was like, Oh, yeah, mijo, give me the link so I can buy tickets. Mm. I was like, I thought you weren't going to go. Well, no, I'm going to go, but I'm just not going to look. <laughs> Aww. Dude, part of your warm up should be your mom hitting you in the face with a chancla. Fool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because it's like nothing's going to hurt worse than the chancla to the face. And then you're ready. You're ready for whatever the world has to offer <laughs> yeah. you. Uh, so your stage name is El Furique. Yes. We don't know the walk up song. Not yet. Your main sponsor is probably going to be Three Punk Ales, Full yes. Circle Group, Emo Brown, The Alwood, all these motherfuckers. We're all, we're tr tr <laughs> hey, take it easy. Let's not speak out a term here. Let all of these things. Do you feel pressure to succeed in your first pre professional fight, bro? Uh, I don't feel the pressure. Mm. It's just like me. Mm. Like most of the shit that I'm doing, I'm doing it for me, man. Like it's shit that I wanted to do since I was a kid. So. Your voice changed. This is a serious moment. Yeah. Make sure you cue in the serious music <laughs> when we did this later. <laughs> this Kiss is by rules. I mean, bro, like to be honest, I set a goal at the beginning of the year and it was before my, my next birthday, which is August. Mm. And shit, I'm already meeting it. So you've met a couple oh, yeah. goals. I remember you said one of your goals was you want to be professional fighter, you want to be single, whatever, dog. All your goals. You're meeting, <laughs> you're meeting all of your goals and we're here for it. We're very <laughs> proud of you. Are you dog. single now? Yes. Single oh. as fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, ladies, did you ladies hear that? and That's why he's got the OnlyFans still. <laughs> Look at that. Only flan. No, that's gone. <laughs> nah. This motherfucker sounds Mexican desserts. since only flan. Only flan, bro. <laughs> <laughs> did you, did you want to give out your Instagram? Or? Mm. Team uh, Wolf. My Instagram's freaky underscore 619. Ooh. So. Just take out that one and you got it. Freaky. Get freaky <laughs> underscore 69. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, your, that's your new fight name. Freaky is F-R-E-A-Q-U-E. <laughs> underscore 619. Follow him for all the updates. We're going to bring him in every week, bro. Every week he's going to give us an update. He's, gonna he's already us, here. Might he's well. going to tell us what's going on at 3Punk. There's some shit going on at 3Punk right now. 
that I'd like to talk about, but thumbs up or thumbs down, Kevin? What do you think? Thumbs up? Ah, fuck. Don't they're, do it. Not yet, huh? They're not. When the, white, no, they? No. When the, when the whites tell me, I feel like no. Don't I feel it. like no. There's some shit coming up, and uh, it, it'll be pretty exciting, you know? So just, just bear with us. There's some paperwork that needs to be filled out, and everyone's going to be happy, we hope. Geeky, yes. I'm a big fan of you. I keep you around the brewery because you're good looking, you're strong, and you have a head of dreadlocks. We know you can protect it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, congratulations, bro. I know this has Thank been you. something you're looking forward to. Uh, <laughs> say what? Hey, hey, there he is. Freak oh, 69 Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, here. Put your glasses on. <laughs> watch, 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 watch. It's the same yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I'm gonna drive the delivery van dog The three punk delivery van And I want you surfing it on yeah. top while I'm You're in the wrong sport You gotta play some basketball oh Damn good on you We're proud of you Win or lose dog We're gonna be proud of you A little less if you lose But just make sure You come to the fight Ready to lose your life in the ring Clip that just in case. Wow. We don't want you to lose your life. We want you to come out swinging. You want you to be a champion. Oh, bro, no. There's going to be a war in there. Yeah? That's for sure. Are you, yeah. You're not scared? Fool? No. I'm scared for you. No, man. Because I'm like, a weenie, though. The the way I look at it, I'm going into that cage to, like, prove Put your, put your shades just on. Look at his fucking eyes. Yeah. He's put scary, your shades on when you tell me. Okay, do it again. Do it again. Yeah, I'm going for a life over there right now. We should start talking shit. We should start talking shit. I got your back. If you start losing, I'm jumping. I got nothing to lose. This kid's got everything to lose. Who's this kid? This is Fran Breen. Because he's he's part of Cage Warriors MMA Fight Academy. So they're like fighting to get a contract. So... I got nothing to lose. Also, hey, he, that so makes basically he's a lame. If you beat him, do you get his contract? So he could like, ruin his contract? Yeah, basically. I could ruin his contract. Are the, right. are, are the bookies taking bets on this? Or? I don't know, man. It's oh, a quan. Maybe I'm taking bets. How much money well, you want to give me? Hey, let's, let's roll in. We should do that. Let's put some money on fucking Kiki, bro. I already mm-hmm. said that. All right. Hey, wait, you told wait, me about this. I was like, all my money on Do you play June 2nd? Oh, Who damn. Who is that? Who's that? Carlos, Carlos has news. We have some news. Bro, I don't even see Carlos in. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm picking up uh, his opponents because I work for Saquon on the side. <laughs> and I do the last cage fighters. And um, so I pick them up. They're usually, it's they're tore up because um, they're flying from Europe. So, oh, um, yeah, dog. Put a little melatonin in the water. Uh, yeah. And, they're, and um, so the last, uh, I pick them up and then I, they stay for a couple days. They fight. And then I take them back to the airport and I can tell, like, if they had a good fight or not. Just but Also, there's women, there's women cage yeah. fighters as well, females. Look at you. I those love it when you're politically those correct. Are the ones that get, get tore it. up. They get tore up. Mm. <laughs> they fight. They fight hard. You pick them up after, also. So I'll be working that event. That's crazy. Oh, so sure. Yeah. Look at that. Look, a couple of South Bay legends right there. That's I'll crazy. pick you up, Kiki. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm putting money on you. Don't fuck it up. Yeah. No. I'm putting money on you, dog. We we like Patty, or no? Patty's cool. But his fighter, yeah. fuck him. Yeah. What's his name again? Fran. Fran. No. Fran. Oh, Fran. 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 Hey, you better fucking win, dog. All right? You better win. Fred dressed like a motorcycle. If you, if you don't win, <laughs> you might not have a job at Three Punk Full. Ooh. All right? Oh, let's, 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 hey, let's fucking build the That way he has stakes. something to lose. Yeah, let's build the stakes oh, a little yeah, bit, yeah, because you don't have anything let's to lose, you said. build the stakes, bro. Well, in the fight world, I'm talking about my career. World. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're going to win. If you I'm, lose, I'm you got to shave your dreads. This, uh, hey, this is like a low-key behind. <laughs> what is it oh, called? No. The behind the scene, the, the fight pass, the leading up to the fucking oh, fights, bro? That's what this is, bro. We're going to follow you all week doing dumb shit <clears throat> stay focused I don't, do, I don't do dumb shit stay focused bitch I just saw you take a rip do they test you are they gonna test <laughs> your feet they don't get tested you sure yeah. you said I don't test for weed alright we, yeah all right. no well, we get tested for obviously like anabolics and shit like that but not for weed damn well weed. I didn't put any anabolics in that when bomb, he wears so his good. shades he's fucking crazy bro. <laughs> yeah. when he's wearing his shades he's like fuck dog you feel hey, stronger that's why I wear well, them it's cause I feel invisible now yeah. so I'm not like fucking big daddy over here <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel when I have my glasses hell on, yeah so. ladies and gentlemen el pinche hey. Kiki Montalvo <laughs> yeah wow. Uh, while Carlos is still here, uh, we have some news. So tomorrow we're going to drop our first episode of uh, his uh, new show. Hell and we're going to drop it here on the Emo Brown. Familia on the Emo Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. called Music Culture Love. And um, Eric and I have been filming for... Um, Porn. Uh, for a while. <laughs> um, ever since skinny jeans were popular, I think. Damn it! <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> so we're featuring uh, local and um, some... Some California DJs, uh, friends of mine, and people, inspirational people that uh, I've worked with in my life, and yeah. uh, good DJs that that um, we feature in my shop in um, Barrio Logan, San Diego Vintage Company, and it's uh, we kind of create an, a little ambience and an, a nice environment for them to just spin their records, the music that inspired them. 
on a you know, sick one. Yeah, like that's that's beer. Beer. Like that's that's beer. Beer. <laughs> and so we're excited to release uh, this Wednesday, Music Culture Love. Yeah, and, yeah. and we're going to do produce. it here on the Emo Brown feed on we are? YouTube. Yes. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah. Did you know that? I, yeah, Let's do a I'm companion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Emo Brown, uh, it, thank dude. you for, for helping us out and putting it out. Carlos, thank you for... No, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I say if you're picking up fucking this fighter, you take him to Salud Tacos and fill him up with some fucking mulitas real quick, dude. And, and then just take him over to the fight. Be like, no, 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 no. It's yeah. protein. It's protein, mijo. All sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, there's there's one thing that I noticed. Uh, all the all the UK fight, all the UK cats, they say sick a lot. Are they really? They say sick. They're like 13 years behind us in their trends. Yeah. That's why. But oh, we're like, driving around and like they're like, oh, this San Diego's sick. And I'm like, what? Right. You say sick? No. Sick. <laughs> so. Dude, when we were out there, we, we were out in fucking, where were we? Manchester to watch a match, Liverpool United. Sick. And uh, we got picked up by, no, we got picked up by a fucking uh, an Uber. And he's like, hey, where can we get some gear, like some fucking United gear? Gear over there means Perico, yeah, perro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. We're going to get some yeah. United yeah. gear, yeah. baby. So I'm like, yo, where do we get some gear? He's like, hey, mate, you want some fucking gear? And I was like, yeah, like a hat. <laughs> like a fucking hat. Or a, you want some fucking gear? And he's looking at us like, oh, menacing, dog. He like, turns into a whole different guy. No. And we're like, yeah, we want some fucking gear. He's like, all right, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> and then we look, he's like, fucking gear means this. I was like, oh, no, no, we don't want that. We don't want that right now no. on the show. <laughs> never that. No, never. <laughs> Carlos, it's a pleasure to know you. This Thank is just you. another successful venture that you're going to be fucking embarking yeah. upon. Fuck, dog. We're all family here, dog. Yes. It's a beautiful thing. Get on down to San Diego Village, bro. Down there in Barrio Logan. Best Adidas gear you can fucking mm -hmm. buy gear. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. And all the Adidas Those three gear, little lines, bro. huh? We're, we're open um, once a year. So... <laughs> Make sure you Real talk, catch fool. How open, hey, how often are you open? <laughs> Once a year. No, wait. <laughs> Chicano <laughs> Park Day only. <laughs> Inventory wiped out. Yeah. Chicano Park Day. They sell bro. a lot of gear. Mm -mm. Hell yeah, man. What else you got coming up for us? Uh, we got, I got a big show coming Cinco de Mayo at a music box. So mm. for the, those of you, oh, yeah, come out and support. It's my um, birthday, fool. No, I want to shout out. I want to have a happy birthday. birthday shout out on my birthday, Cinco de Mayo, bro. Cinco de Mayo. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Fiesta del Sol uh, concert uh, in Sanitas, uh, brought to you by the Belly Up. It's on Woo! the beach and the ocean. Um, Sunday. And then we got a nice little tour coming up in August. So. Hey, fool, you stay fucking grinding, dog. Yeah, sure. <sighs> but it's weird. Every time I'm barrio, I see him at Salud. <laughs> like, the fuck that's where he wrong? grinds from. I don't get a discount there. Though. No discount. <laughs> Maybe you should get join the Emo, Emo Brown, Brown card. Social yeah. Club, bro. That's how that works. Make it clack for reals. <laughs> ah, huevo, dog. I went to your your home state this weekend, dog. I was in Sinaloa for a little nice. bit. Yeah, it was a little bit scary, dog. Yeah, I got my friend from Sinaloa in the house. Oh, so, nah, where uh, he from? He's from Mazatlan. Mazatlan. He's a musician. He's gonna be playing. Uh, he plays with me out down here. Um, I like to play with the Mazatlan musicians, the Mazatlecos. Los yeah. Mazatlecos, vergas. Patas saladas. Yeah. All right. Oh so shit. So big ups to my, my homie in the house, Paul. El compa Don Paul. Paul from the Brownies. Yeah. Don Paul from Los Pinches Brownies. Yeah. Emo Brownies worldwide. Ooh, Emo Brownies. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the edible we release. Oh, Little grasshopper. Oh, Emo, Emo Brownies. Emo oh, Brownies. Shit. Somebody get on that. Mama Kush. We're Mama Kush. <laughs> <laughs> we got. Beef Mama jerky Kush. flavored brownies. Fuck, nah. Thank you very much, Carlos. Big fan Gracias. of everything you do. No, fuck that. Thank you, thank man. Thank you, you for thank everything you. you do. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, rate, review, subscribe. All of the things. Easy transitions. We don't need them. We just jump into the next thing. <laughs> I am going to need another one of these cocktails. Though. You like that? I that really yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. like Dude, this. Dude, that's thing. two for two. Last two weeks. Mm. Everything you make is good. Hey, for real, dog? Uh, he just came in. He dropped his fucking news. He's a pelar. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and Sina he's taking Paul Sinaloa out <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's crazy rate review subscribe all of the things YouTube mm -hmm. uh, Instagram fucking TikTok TikTok I think we're You're live TikTok on TikTok. Famous. Hey, we're live on TikTok. Up on TikTok yeah we got like 50,000 followers on TikTok that's I amazing. don't follow you I had to unfollow you Oh, I didn't even know you followed me. Yeah, exactly. I haven't followed you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Only obviously, this is obviously two weeks behind. We have more numbers now, guy. <laughs> look at that. Damn. Look at that. Why do I always look high in all of the <laughs> videos? Because you <laughs> are high in all the and, videos. You know, I mean, world world class fucking talent. Zuko, Cece, Jesus Sepulveda, El Compa Alejandro Guido. 
the fucking power couple right there. <laughs> yes. El compa George Perez, fucking the white the guy with the monger. fish. Wasn't the it? white guy with the fish. <laughs> white guy with the fish. El compa Tony, Tommy. Right? Tommy. Tommy. Hey, Tommy. Weren't we supposed to go get the chorizo or some shit? Oh, bitch, you don't have to go anywhere to get Shark that, homie. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll stay giving you the chorizo. Um, yeah, it's a great time to be alive. Pelotero's out. Manic Hispanic is out. So go rate, review, subscribe to all of our things. TikTok, YouTube. We're really trying to push YouTube because I feel like that's the move. Uh, guess well, what? There's a fucking website again. Website is up. There, the merch store is not open yet. But if you I need to do it a lot, came yeah, yeah well, I say do it a lot. So I say do it a little. You know, <laughs> I feel like he, he's almost there. He's having car troubles. Give him a break. Car troubles. <clears throat> yeah. The fuck does is his computer in his car? What is it? A Tesla? Battery blew up. Yeah. So he can't uh, do internet stuff. Dude, I have the exact same car as him, and my car is all fucked up too. My speedometer. I'm going like five miles an hour, and it says I'm going 130. You guys, my oh, mechanic. He'll go anywhere. <laughs> He's coming no, today. Mine's under warranty. I'm oh, gonna go okay. Get this She's shit fancy. Fixed. She's fancier than us. Yeah. 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 One, one day, day I have a Honda Civic, y'all. One day. Oh man, one day you're gonna be fancy. We're one fancy day. today because of the people who support us. I'm right. gonna read some names today. What do you think, Casas? How many Fuck names? Yeah. How many names yeah. do you want me to read today, Casas? All of them. Twenty. Yeah. All of them. Yes, I was told. Dude, these are your supporters. Go for it. Oh, See, okay. I was on that CC boat a while ago where I've I was seen like, you do right, it everybody once a month. Yeah, yeah, we should month. at least everybody wants to. Fix me a drink. That's <laughs> and, what I'm doing. And, I'm gonna, and I'll get into this shit. And I'll get into this shit. All right. <clears throat> Fuck. Let's go. <clears throat> Pelotero up. Pelotero down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the newest to the oldest, subscribers of the Emo Brown Social Club, uh, members. I have a white guy in here that needs to fucking be a member. He's in rules. This is a members only club. So only members are allowed to be here. The young man petting the dog right now. Go ahead. Go back to him, Casas. I'm embarrassed that fucker. The young man pet young. I use that shit very loosely. Young as fuck. Yeah. Petting, he's not a member. Before he leaves, he will be a member because that's just what we do. He represents a grain company who takes care of the brewery. Skagit Malts out of Saskatchewan. No, where the fuck you guys are? At? Like the Pacific Northwest? They give us all the grain to make Pelotero, Manic Hispanic, Chavez, and Ero Pisto, all them things, bro. Those two white guys in the back mean a lot to me. Well, one of them does. The other one gave a fuck about it. And that dog licking Kiki's ear <laughs> tells me he's on the juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a narc dog. He's, 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 yeah, right? It's a yeah. pinche perro troca con CBX, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, none of this is possible without Stephanie Cran. That's our newest member. Thank you to welcome to the crew. Mm-hmm. Stephanie, Ed was cracking, Ed. Mike Dole was sitting in that same chair last week. Oh. And I told that fool, you can't be in here unless you're a member. He did the right thing and he subscribed. Chris Garcia, Tyler Small, Joel Balesteros, Manny Rubio, Alfredo Ramirez, Big Ups, James Moffat the third and the fourth. Steve Paye, Gregory Hoover, Angel Munoz, Cisco Garcia, Leila Burros, Ernie, el compa Ernie dog, Bella Robles. Hey, Ernie reaches like, hey fool, I don't sound like that. Uh, they sound like, like that? I was like, you do kind of sound like that. It's like, you're funny and you keep me motivated like that, but I don't sound like that. I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> Bella Roberts, Fabian, Luis Andejas, uh, Milo Por Vida, Sal Milo down at Mexico City, bro. I saw all of Chula Vista in Mexico City. Was he awake? Uh, he was on a sick one. Nice. Looking good. <laughs> Papi Chavo, Eric Casas, Nix McCollum, San Diego Graffiti, Matt C. Slag. Happy birthday. Stone Masters, I say dude a little. Leah Smith, <laughs> Zach Lifford, Jonathan Munoz, Kiki Sevilla Villegas. That's my cousin. That's your cousin. That's our cousin. David Bernardi, Chris <laughs> and the Tobiel, Tapia, Chucky Monster, Yazi Fresh. It is, right? Mexicans, it's like fucking the conduit to every Mexican is another Mexican. It's like Kevin That's Bacon. That's just math. That's just science. He's related to a stepbrother that my cousin has. So in essence, I guess he's my cousin. I guess you guys can't right? kiss anymore. No, we stopped a while ago. Good. That's yeah. good. Bad for business. <laughs> Chris M, Andre Mejia, El Compa Mikey Roots, Ramon Saldivar, Ruben Quinones, UPS, Matt Diesel, UPS, Chris Martinez, UPS, Brenda Aguirre, Bobby Torres, David Lara, Greg, Paulina for the people. We're going all in. Yeah, all yeah, in. Keep going. Oh, we're going all in. All right. Going Kevin queen Yeres, size on this one. Antonio Sanchez, the Wart Wrangler. We should have that fucker in here. He has a fucking uh, an Instagram page. It's a pretty big influencer Instagram page called the Wart Wrangler. And he talks about beer. Riveting shit, I promise you. Just has anything to do with Carlos Solorio. Like pimple popper. Dude, fuck that shit. I enjoy the pimple popper. <laughs> oh, <before>. gross. <laughs> I lo- uh, I'll be taking so a shit. War- They're from war- here, right? <laughs> the pimple popper? I'll be taking a shit, all uh, right? And I turn on the bidet, and I get uh, lost in a fucking video. Uh, and I'll be like, oh, shit, I better turn the bidet on. They're popping pimples. They get lost in the bidet. <laughs> <laughs> La cuñada, Gabriela Ledesma, Rodrigo Arancibia, Marias, El Copa Flaco, Wasaid, Victor Almanzan. George Gonzalez, Edna Alvarez, Reggie Garcia. Where are you, my Pinoy brother? Ivan Espinosa, Jason Nick. <laughs> what happened? 
don't He's know. Filipino, He's motherfucker. Laughing. Camille <laughs> Harrington, stop going to so many games, work more shifts. Robert Gomez, Alexandra Camacho, David D.B. Styles. Where the fuck is that guy, dog? He's what mad at he? you, fool. He's mad at me? I don't know. I get in line. I don't give a fuck. Clinton <laughs> Jones, Brian Casey, Star Wars Brothers. Star Wars! Brian and Bradley. I've done that so long, it feels so good. Erica Ortega, <sighs> Tomas Ferrez, I love you. Laverne, Ronnie69, Ronnie Mac. What's her Instagram? Ronnie Mac? Ronnie Mac69. Follow her on Instagram. She's awesome. Unknown Soldier. That's Bianca. Happy birthday. When's her birthday? Right before yours. Mm, so not yet. Cuatro de Mayo. Sarah Chula Mice, Will Holder, Baboso, Mark Sanchez, Cisco Hernandez, SDCA Equipment. This motherfucker thought he was camp counselor, like social director <laughs> in Mexico City. Hey, guys, we're going to have a pop-up at this bar. Hey, guys, we're going to meet. Bring your Padre shit. Hey, guys. <laughs> Macaroni art at three. I was like, bájale de huevo, viejo. Bitch, you're like not even from here. Like, what are you doing? Big ups to SDCA George. Good job. Kula Yoga, Stephen Ferris. Fuck you, Matt. My mom. Hey, mom. Darren, <laughs> There's something the in the back room. <laughs> <laughs> Robin Camacho, Pierre Dells. I miss Pierre. Stephanie Perez. Here comes the Tururu. Tururu. Eddie, aka Samsung Sensen. The Caca. Tururu. Well done, Josh Stoll. I need to read these because some of these it's guys fun. are clever. It's fun. Some of these are. I, I like it. Jose Torres. Uh, I think he's here today. He's right there. Ah, oh, the fucking plomero dog. Chilling by the fridge. Dropping tick on all the fucking electricians. Carlos Rangel, we love you in North County. Renette Polito, she's going to be doing a little bit of a true crime trivia. Whose phone is that? How unprofessional is this? What's going on? Answer it. Eric. Bueno, quien habla? Bueno, quien habla? Roberto Huero Flores. That motherfucker is leading uh, mountain bike excursions, bro. He's all about that shit. Shannon Lalette and Ma and Man Hernandez. El Compa Fonzi, Jay Ford, Richard Hecht, Otter Stop Lowe's. Usually gives me haircuts. He's not in here today. Hey, what happened? He's sick, apparently. Uh, he's been David Martinez, with Lexi, huh? Sweet Naria, David Baker, Danny <laughs> O, RJ, <laughs> Willie Ruiz, Tony Marroquin, El Compa David Placencia, Ernesto Quintero, all the way out of Mexa Brucalesia, the Nurse Navarro. Nurse Navarro, turn the camera around on you on TikTok real quick. Okay, look at that's who's on TikTok today. What's TikTok oh, live man. looking like right now? We got some people. We just lost everybody. <laughs> any messages, any notes you got to convey? Now we're good. All right, you're awesome. Eric Navarro, thank you. Tony Yu, <laughs> Sonia, Sarah Sol, Cesar Fernandez, that's C5. Jose Fernandez, that's his brother. Martin Casas, they're killing it at the Aya Foundation. Hell yeah, they, they are. just had their uh, second annual <laughs> skate event, uh, high school skating tournament brought to you by NTSL. Amazing shit, dog. We got to look into that a little bit more. Mason Innocentes, Sir Alex Rivera, Matthew Chavaria, Roxana, Theo Collins. Ooh, yes. I'm going to get through the second half of this with you. Abby Heilbrown, Omar Sanchez, Elias Delgado, saw him down in Mexico City. What's up, oh. fool? Nothing. All right. <laughs> you I think my friend Lexi would look really good with a drink. <laughs> Eric Ruiz, La Compa Maddie, Annie Wilkes, a.k.a. known as fucking Droopy, a.k.a. known as I saw this person in Mexico City, too. Oh, Bill Luki, Arcadio. I saw fucking Droopy and fucking. You hang out with Droopy. Dude, you didn't even know. I saw Droopy in Mexico City. We had drinks. We did. Droopy's been up in your drugs, circle for so dog. long. Arcadio Mora, Pablo. Ca Where the fuck is Pablo Cacahuate? This fool? He also had a birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he has uh, early bird special rights now. Yeah, he's probably Denny's. at Denny's right now. He's probably at Denny's. Getting <laughs> the, the fuck is up disc. Denny's? <laughs> Pablo Cacoets for his cumpleaños. BJ Jasbera. Boo. Mike Beebe, Evelyn Bernardi, LJP, all the way from fucking Arizona. Giovanni Correa, he's the guy who trademarked Emo Brown. Now you can't use Emo Brown unless you pay me a fucking fee. I need to talk to him about millennial... Uh, millennial classic rock. I think that's going to be a fucking million dollar move right there. Uh, all right. Giovanni Correa, Ben Bikes for Beer, Hexes, Felipe Meraz, Maggie, Brennan, and Beatriz. Uribe... Last page, I fucking promise you. Oh. <laughs> Chef Claudia, where you at, Chef Claudia? What's up? Aaron Hill, Matt Lawson, Erica the Baker, Small Teeth Aguirre, Ozzy Perez. Ah, oh, fuck. Look at Kevin Lewis. Levi Lewis, mm -hmm. Giovanni Sanchez, El Abuelo, Marino Gomez. All right, how many more? Fuck, you know what? Fernando Jasbera, Christian Moreno. I love you. Gus Gonzalez, David Oyos, golfed with him, ranted with Ramos. Done. Fuck Not it. just golfed with him. We got through <laughs> him. 200 names out of 230. That's good enough, Loved bro. it. All right, El, El Darce, Scott Donaghy, Jeff Lozano, Brito, Moreno. Oh, you were going to skip Jeff Lozano? Yeah, Hector Parra, Mike. Who's the Elanaya, last one? The last one, the first one in some cultures. The OG. El OG, El Mero Mero. Ruben Lopez. Fuck yeah, dog. Shit. I'm done with this shit, dude. That's a lot. That's a lot of names. But, but none of that is possible without them. Thank you. Did I read your name, fucking Colombian? Junior Big Head the Colombian, dog. He's been with us since day one. Look at him. Fuck. Look at you. You thinking you're going to wear a fucking cloud sky sweater is going to make I you... I love that sweater. It makes your head look even fucking bigger, dog. It's a clueless <laughs> sweater. Clueless. I love it. Nah, big fan of you and everything you guys do. Oh, What? Lexi, welcome back. What's going on? 
Oh, not that much. Are we uh, heading into just our weekends or what? Just Whatever random like chatter. Just random chatter. <laughs> <laughs> just, just I DJed Taco Fest on Saturday and it was awesome. I had a good Taco time. Taco Fest. Yeah. Tell me about Taco Fest. What's that all about? Um, Taco Fest. We had uh, just a lot of performers and um, tacos, alcohol. And you see Shadow? Or, I did. I mean, I mean, Little Uno, sorry. Yeah. Um, Mr. Lil One was there too? Lil One was there. Nice. Did he, did he recognize you? Um, I actually didn't see him. I just saw him performing. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, hold up. Hold up. <gasps> oh, oh, there you go. Am I not there? He's going to be at my cousin's bar in San Maria this oh, weekend. Oh, no way. Yeah, dude. Oh, I'm so yeah. stoked. Yeah, so, yeah, it was a good weekend. I had Very a good time. Good I, I went to the movies on Sunday, saw Air. It was really good. Air. Yes. Fuck. All right. Sounds exciting. You guys should check <laughs> I out love Air. Air. I can't get enough of it. <laughs> I mean, hello, Michael Jordan, the shoe. It's, it's so an epic story. It's it's funny. The movies, you know, with the pandemic kind of already done and everything, whatever, and COVID and stuff. We haven't gone to the movies, so the, we're slowly like bringing the kids back to the theater and all that. Mm-hmm. So wifey and I have a, weekly dates with the boys. You know, we have a lot of fucking kids, Mexican shit. And we're taking <laughs> <laughs> my son wants to go to the movies with me on Friday for my birthday. What? Yeah, for no. your birthday, so you go. have to take so him I'm going to the take movies? him, so we're going to watch, uh, what am I watching? Like, Something, hey, Dad, no, for your no. birthday, you should take me some to the movies. Shit, some shit comes out on Friday, like some um, X-Men shit. Mm. So are you going to be napping or watching the movie? I'll probably fall. Depends <laughs> on what napping. time the movie is. <laughs> oh, my God. You He's know I'm old. I'm old as fuck. Piggy J. Jisbera, what's good, bro? I'm chilling. I had a good week, too. Uh, mostly a good week. I fucking uh, chilled. I uh, went and played a winery. That was random as fuck. You played a winery? Yeah, I played a winery. They'd love Slipknot there. <laughs> now, I was kind of nervous. I, I, you always ask me if I get nervous before shows. I wasn't mm-hmm. like nervous in the fact that I was like, "Oh my god, are they gonna like?" Because there was like, a lot of white people. Like, oh my probably. god, when are they gonna pull the plug on me? <laughs> like, yeah. how much Green Day can uh, a winery take? I but I did okay. Did All they right. give you an allotment of wine while you? I got playing? two glasses of wine uh-huh. and then uh, cucumber sandwiches. The sommelier, Ooh, I think, is what you call a wine yes, guy. Exactly. He hooked it up with a bottle to go home with. Whoa. So me and wifey oh, yeah. drank some fucking wine. We're wine Thank people. You. Shout out wifey. Shout out wifey. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Shout out my wife with two broke or two torn ACLs. We ain't got nothing else to do but drink wine. Oh, your wifey has two torn ACLs. Because she's hardcore, dude. That's How does that happen? Oh, is that she's why she's not beating here? my ass? Wifey beats his wife. Yeah. <laughs> my wife? <laughs> nah, I'm nah, a big fan of the just bear. Trying to get some air, some sweet hang time, and she just jumped too high, you know? Mm. Casas, what's cracking, fool? Uh, nothing much, man. Just um, I went to Taco Fest also for a bit. I only saw you for five minutes, though. So <laughs> Trust me, I that was them, by design. <laughs> I was like, we're going to go watch SM Familia come with yeah, us. Yeah, and I you saw, guys were like, SM. you guys were cool. just, you guys didn't want to come walk with us, though. Mm. Oh, no, Weird. no, we went, we went. We oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we went you had your, you with the Spice Girls. That was good, dude. Your chongo Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> you. Hey, your chongo list today. What's going on? <laughs> I know. I just needed... I just I wear my hair different hairstyles all the time. Oh, take it easy. <laughs> nice. Good on you. Hey, Cece. Hey, what's up? What's good with you? Damn, them hoops get bigger every fucking week. It's the same hoops. The same bigger the hoops. Yeah. Yeah. Those are some south fucking, really south fucking really bay hoop these. earrings for sure. Good yeah. on you. What's good? Um, a lot. Mm. I've had a really good week. I did a whole lot of nothing, and it was amazing. And then, oh, yeah. It's, I see the world's that. biggest burrito. What type of wrapping paper? <laughs> okay, so I was running late this morning, and I needed to wrap it. And I'm like, uh, fuck. And all I had was the stuff at the bar. So it's your see, birthday see, gift best. wrapped in foil. <laughs> and I didn't have a bow, so I made a little... Is that Tums? Tums? It's Tums. Oh, I, I love but it. But I made it in the shape of a flower. Oh. I could have used these Tums in Mexico City this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Put them in your Dry pocket. Dry ass tacos. Bro, Put them in your pocket. Word. Dry <laughs> ass tacos. <Wow. laughs> no good tacos. Great food down there, though. Awesome yeah. stuff. Good time, but good Just on you. Dry ass tacos. tacos. Huh? You didn't have any good tacos? Nah. Really? They're, they're dry out there. Bro. I'm San Diego. <laughs> I think TJ is them. the place for tacos. Fuck, where? TJ. Mexicali, yeah. Tijuas, Ensenada. Those are good I think right spots. down the street at Lolita's is the place for tacos. Mm, maybe if they're rolled. Dorados. Uh, they're on the same vibes, they're though. They're still sponsoring us? <laughs> Brought to you by the... Hey, what happened to fucking Farfan? We cut. Dude, we got cut. Farfan came three weeks in a row. He brought in breakfast burritos. Made promises and Made bounced. promises and dipped out, dog. All right. Well, on you, Farfan. Well, we'll I think we, you should open your birthday gift. And then Lexi went, too. Oh, I went. I Where'd you go? go? But just, yeah, she Lolita's. went to Lolita's after. I saw Everybody's him. Fucking us up. I saw him, and he just said hi. <laughs> She <laughs> called nachos <laughs> chips with cheese. What the fuck did you want him to do? Throw a burrito at you? Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Well, guys, it's Something. my birthday on Friday, Cinco de Mayo, and I guess Cece got me a gift. Oh, shit. Oh, it's one of those things that it has multiple like, I, layers. I really tried with this one. Of aluminum Damn. foil wrapping. Right. <laughs> Cocaine. 
Cocaína. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Oh, shit, we're still a bit. Oh. Oh, fuck, what is this? Ben Davis. Oh, my God. Look at this. That's oh, nice. damn. The West got something to say, too. Oh, <laughs> shoot. Oh, shoot. Damn, that's from Hell the Source yeah. Awards, dog. Now put it on and do a little walk. <laughs> Let's see if it fits. Yeah. That's Try gangster. it on. Just in time for summer. <laughs> oh, it smells like mustard. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. It still gets cold Look here. Shit, well, I wanted to give Look it to him that. before he went to Guadalajara. I thought you were going to Mexico this weekend. And I might that's be. from Matt and I. I might be going oh, to Mexico. Yeah. 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 Oh, hell yeah. This is fucking awesome. That's sick. Hey, let me walk Kiki into the fucking fight wearing this, fool. Oh, yeah. and, I, just yeah, and I just wanted to say Emo Brown on the back. Well, right Chicle is going to do the Emo Brown on the back, but I wanted to get it to you before you went. Source Award. Dude, yeah, that's dude. sick. Fucking shoot What if brown. you walk out to Jin and Jure? Where the poncho? What's that? Remember the three point poncho you gave us for Christmas? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're wearing that to the fight? Yeah, I, I like how you decide to talk when you're not on the mic. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Hey, 44 is going to be awesome. Thank you, Cece. That's fucking rad. Look at this. In, a, in addition to that. Uh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> CC got him a fireman. Damn. I'm a fireman now. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Big ups to the local 2180 for celebrating Sick. everything we I'm do. I'm about to start starting light, lighting some fires. <laughs> so local 2180 is our local fucking union for the fire department here in Chula Vista. And they stopped by the brewery. And uh, Kevin, my partner at the brewery, and myself, put a, show a little love to fucking to the white man Kevin, dog. Where's the white man? There, there he is. Oh, the handsome shit. guy back there. Look at that. Big ass dog. He's my partner at the brewery. We were uh, recognized by Chula Vista Fire Department here for uh, what we do for the community. Fuck, I guess get them drunk is what we do. So they decided to give us this helmet as a token of their appreciation. That's and fancy. they made a big deal about the helmet, Perro, because I mean, pretty. they're he's like, says, you really need this. He's like, this is like from fucking New York, dog. These are New York leathers, dog. You got to respect that. I said, relax. <laughs> I said, fucking relax. It'll be cool. But check this out. Oh, but there's more. Wow. Whoa. Look at this. What? Oh, dang. That's Damn. like way better than what I got you for your birthday. <laughs> Three punks and shit. Hey, hey, I told wifey, I'm just going to roll around the house wearing this and Tony's, bro. <laughs> 2180, what's that? When the kids go to sleep, it's like, I'm just going to roll just wearing this fucking fire. <laughs> so we are firemen now. That's how we get down. What's up, Cece? I'm a man of many jackets. <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> oh, man. We made a beer for them. Uh, was it local 2180 beer? What, what was the beer called? 2180. Uh, red lager. They loved it. We loved it. Everyone loved it. So now I guess they're paying tribute to us. I went golfing with the coppers on Friday. Ooh. On Friday. And I told them about this shit. And I was sending them pictures like, yo, fool, look at the fucking fire department's got our back. What's going on? So David Oyles and I went, we went golfing with Albert on, on Friday. And he's like, he's going to give me a, a, a bulletproof vest. Ooh. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> They're not illegal, I asked. Yeah, Dude, I, I, just, like, well, for sure. yeah. I just found out that I've been doing something really illegal a couple days hey, ago. Yeah. Yeah. That's between you and your OnlyFans subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be telling <laughs> well, here's the thing is everyone always blocks my driveway. Mm. And I have a really big dog, like the one behind us. Not as big. Eric? But <laughs> that fucking guy right there. <laughs> there's a dog behind me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a white-ass dog. And so... Labradoodle. We may have... <laughs> At first, we used to just dump all the dog shit on top of the car, whatever that was blocking the driveway, because they won't tow right there. And so um, now we just put shit in the door handles and like in the trunk handle, like they're what? Fu- like just chemical like, warfare. What the, fuck? Just, like, what the fuck are you doing, Cece? That's how you get. Are you if, saying this out loud? If you, I don't care, <laughs> don't block people's driveway. I can't get in at all, and it's there's no. It's all um, private parking for three weeks or three three blocks. So I can't even. I don't have a permit to park on the Fancy. street. So <laughs> it's not fancy. I live by the hospital. She's um, bare handing the dog shit. Too. And so, what, no, I did. <laughs> but I swear, my neighbors watch me, and they're just like, "All right, here's another one." And it happened again this weekend. I hit up a sheriff, and I was like, "You know, is it a sheriff that we know? It is a sheriff we know." I asked that. I asked that guy a lot of questions too. And <laughs> I, I just so just happened to to be like. Hypothetically, like if I put dog shit all over <laughs> someone's car, if their windows are down, I like dump cat litter in there. I'm like, would this be illegal? And he said, yeah, it's vandalism. Oh, oh, hell but, yeah. oh shit! But he wouldn't arrest me, is what he said. He wouldn't. 
He'd let you off with a warning. He'd send somebody else to fucking do it. (laughs) But I'm not. And he said to send him photos. I'm like, hell no, I'm not sending these photos. The move is you put Vaseline underneath the door handles because you can't wash that shit off and it's slippery forever. You go to get your door handle, you'll freak every time. I want their hands in soft, smelly dog shit. (laughs) (laughs) That's crazy. (laughs) I'm not scratching their car. I'm not doing anything. Dude, this is wild. What? Is it that bad? It's not good. good. It's not good. (laughs) Don't block people's driveways. Yeah. Dude, that's the moral. The story is easy as a I think victim that's a, here. That's a Mexican fucking pet peeve because uh, people park in front of our, <laughs> they park in front of oh our driveway God. and wifey loses her shit. Oh, like I, wifey, is, wifey is, is super that? cool. Wifey is super cool. Ninety five and eighty five percent of the time, and then somebody blocks in front of our, <laughs> our just in front of the fucking house, not even the driveway. <laughs> that's like my brother. <laughs> they Same thing. It, she'll be like peeking out the window. Oh, you can ask who the fuck it, <laughs> who's parked in front of our house. Oh my God! And she goes Jesus. out there. She looks. It's like. And if the sticker Damn. says La Toxica on the truck, I was like, don't fuck with this car. Ooh. I don't know whose truck it is. Just leave this shit alone. It's a Mexican My thing. brother no. does that shit. He'll turn on his sprinklers yeah. and everything. Yeah. Oh. He doesn't have a sidewalk. It's like next to the grass, basically. Yeah, how cool does that look next to you? Put it on. You look really good in fireman hats, I hear. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh woo, woo. Don't park at her home. So sexy. Her head just got like three feet bigger. Oh lord. <laughs> well done, sexy. You you continue to amaze every fucking week. <laughs> Barry, if I was to ask you what food can you have for the rest of your life, what would you say? What food for the rest of my One life? One fucking food for the rest of your life. One meal. <clears throat> the reason I ask is we had a lot of fucking killer food this weekend in Mexico City, and I was like, oh, all of this pales in comparison to what I'm usually eating at home. What would you choose, bro? Fuck, it's hard. I eat a lot of shit. Probably pizza. Mm. But like, do I get variation or does it have to be the same? Same pizza? shit, perro. Like pepperoni pizza. That's it. No pineapples. They'll get to mix it up ever. Nope. <sighs> Still probably pizza. All right. Lexi. Same probably pizza. Pizza. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. Casas? Tacos. Tacos. Fuck. From where? It's got to be a little bit more From Mexico City? Mm. You like some nice and dry. Gordo, dude. Tacos del Fari? Neta. That's your spot? Yeah, I like it. I like How, it. What, what kind of taco? What'd you get it? Uh, suadero, adobada. I had a suadero taco down in down in Mexico City. It was not Suavecito bad. Suavecito tacos. Not bad, CC. I actually thought about this as my last meal the other day, and I think I would do. You had your last meal shit. the other day. So, yeah, yeah whether it's like death thing. row or whether you're just gonna die for the like rest your of your life. life. But for the rest of my life, I think I would just do bread and butter, and for my drink, it would be oh, like. Um, well, well, might as well go to jail, like a huh? really good gin martini. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. Bread and water. Bread, and butter, and no, gin. bread and you butter. No, bread and butter. And a gin martini. That I'm is changing a my spaghetti. grandma lived on that shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I could live completely off of bread and butter, no problem. Be oh, happy. Yeah. Really? My grandma's oh, more yeah. the gin I than the bread, bread and, butter, and butter, butter, but that's your favorite meal though? Every time I go to a fancy restaurant, that is always my best. Like, that's my favorite part is Like bread Lexi. And what a good date. Ooh, like, what a good oh, no, date. Who has the best mine. bread and butter? Mine. Spaghetti. 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 All right, Garfield, whatever. <laughs> it's lasagna. That's mine lasagna. would be <laughs> pasta, chi- just yeah? pasta in general. Chile rellenos with a nice little fucking sopa de arroz, bro. I realize uh, that. But it has to be prepared the same way the every same time. The same way every time, bro. Oh my God. Imagine. Life is, you know, I'm just saying. I was down there, I was like thinking, I was like, I, any food that I ate in San Diego is going to be shitting all over this. And that's when I realized I need to start leaving San Diego a little bit more. Torta de tamal. Tor- I've never had a torta de tamal. That sounds like a fucking a, a creation that you made, man. No, they no, have I that. Think it's a like thing. stoner cooking. Mm. They have that done there. Speaking of stoner cooking. Oh, shit. Hit us with that 15-minute BJ Barry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't even know what's coming right now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even teased it or anything. I put it in the notes. Oh, I She don't it. read the notes. Oh, wait. Time out. Look at Casa's made it. It's, it's time, time for the 15-minute <laughs> BJ, 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 BJ. BJ. <laughs> <laughs> I was falling off my chair. The Mexican uh, Wayne's World Pool. Yeah. Yeah, you should do that scream every time. <laughs> 15 minute BJ is an opportunity for BJ to go over shit that he finds interesting and just um, usually exciting to tell us. This week, I was looking up lists for uh, Mother's Day, because Mother's Day is coming up. Two mm-hmm. Mother's Days, actually. We got mm-hmm. Mexican Mother's Day is on the uh, 10th, and non-Mexican Mother's Day is on the 14th. So they I'm get correct. two gifts? I guess. My mom gets one. Yeah. That's a wrap. <laughs> and it's usually me. <laughs> the, uh, the idea is that they're lucky if they get anything that's not on this list, because I looked up the worst Mother's Day gifts that mothers have said they've gotten. This isn't just shit like... Oh, they said they went straight to the th- source. Yeah, yeah, this wasn't like, what does men think women wouldn't want for their birthday? Like, this is for... This is the, <clears throat> all the carrots here. If I can... Women wrote this in. Mothers wrote this in. So... 
Uh, number one on this list is a garbage picked lamp, which is very specific. Um, the, apparently what? this lady's husband really wanted a beautiful lamp one year. It had a vintage look to it. It was colorful, which he loved and she loved. They thought it was a really thoughtful gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He picked it. And then uh, she finds out later on, oh, he got this from somebody's trash. <laughs> I guess one of their neighbors was throwing away a lamp. And, vintage. Uh, vintage, you know, but I don't, you clean that shit used. off. If you didn't know in the beginning, then you're not going to know now, right? Uh, so I'm not that mad at that one, but maybe don't don't pick out Mother's Day gifts from the trash. What'd you get your mom last year? My mom last year? Fuck. Uh, probably a, a jacket or some yeah. socks or something. <laughs> they ben, moved to Michigan, so a, it had to be a something ben, cold. A Ben Davis jacket? A ben, <laughs> not that nice. Not that nice. She ben Davis socks, maybe. Uh, I didn't get her this either. Number two on the list, food poisoning. Uh, this can come from many <laughs> forms, but the way this mother got it was having an inexperienced Shit cook on the handle. in the kitchen. Not like Pete. Pete is a very experienced cook. But this lady's husband had the kids make breakfast, Oof. and they poisoned her with vegetables. Uh, <laughs> By this, fuck, yeah, they did she it thinks, on purpose. She thinks it was the spinach, but I'd assume it's probably the undercooked everything that they probably gave her. She had, a, she had a drive to the grocery store, and there was shit in the handle. That's why. Oh. <laughs> Cece's neighbor. <laughs> you got to cook that shit. I can't uh, believe that, Cece. Why? I had so much pleasure out of fucking with people's cars. In front why? Of my house. Oh my God. Because <laughs> is it this bad? Is wild. Have, you, have you ever? Yes or no? What? Have you ever keyed an ex-boyfriend's no, car? No, never. I will Swift. never fuck with someone's car like that. That's mean. just shit. Is where you draw the line. She doesn't fuck. Just shit. I don't. <laughs> You have to pay. <laughs> no, you park in front of my house. You cause me all this inconvenience. It's, I feel like it's a pretty balance. I get the same. <laughs> it's the what if it's utility. like some little old lady that comes like hobbling the across utility. the street? Like, oh, shit again. The utility for me, my unit of happiness goes down a lot when I can't park Ooh. in my house. And I just balance it out with putting dog shit. All over their I wonder if they're trying to figure out how the dog's shitting on the yeah. handle. Like, hey, oh, is it no. possible to tow the car? Or is there no space okay, to so tow we it? I believe There's no space to <laughs> oh, tow it. Okay. My driveway, Downward I drive dog. a Honda Civic, <laughs> and my car fits perfectly if you go straight into it, right in there. And the curbs are high, so I can't lift your car. Her. Mm. And um, yeah, so. we know a mechanic. Unbelievable. Next, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Almost seems like a Steve move. Ooh. I'm going to say it. Uh, and uh, you guys can agree with me or not. But a free backler of <laughs> booklet. I've given <laughs> I've given my mom and my wife a booklet of free massages, <laughs> a free dinner. Do they use them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. And I love we'll that. take them out. We'll do things. There's nothing wrong you with that. You get to see me once a week. <laughs> That's once oh, like too many. Like you made the coupon book? Yeah. We'll, with we'll crayons. We'll take them out somewhere. Oh. You know, I'm not fucking cooking anymore, <laughs> dog. They're so picky. Go ahead. What? Uh, oh, here's a question. This just came to my mind. Do you do Mother's Day just for your mom or uh -huh. also for your baby mama too? Uh, oh, well, we all link up together. We all usually go out. So yeah, we do like a whole like collective thing. It's usually my abuelita's there. Dude, my abuelita, 94 fucking years old. Hell, hell, yeah. hell yeah. 94 wow. abuelita, then my mom's. Um, my sister and wifey. So all of them together. We'll usually go out and have some food or something. Some or, back rubs. Or make, make food at the house like a carne asada or something. We, we, we just keep it, keep it low key. See, I do it too, but I do it like individually and I feel like I'm fucking up. I should just invite them all to fucking Well, breakfast. your mom lives yeah. in fucking Detroit, dog. What it's do you get her like? What are those? Uh, snow cones. <laughs> what is a burger joint out there called? White Castle? You get her like White a 12 pack of White Fuck Castle? Yeah. Shit, man. That wouldn't be a bad gift, actually. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no, I think I need to corral the mothers because I'm doing three this year and that's rough. You're married but to also, a Mexican. I feel like, I don't know. Like, are you supposed? Like, I guess you, you do the Mother's Day until your child is old enough to do the Mother's Day because it's no. Hannah's you not do mine. it for the rest of your life. Do you yeah. celebrate every day? Is Mother's Day in my book, just so you know. <laughs> well I done, Barry. You know. Well done, Barry. Baby mamas too. Do you celebrate both Mother's Day since you know you have a Mexican mother yeah. in law? I'll do. I do. I do one for Mexican Mother's Day and one for uh, Mother's Mother's Day on fucking. <laughs> Barry shows up with his fucking guitar <laughs> and he just fucking I the song for the second day. Yeah. Question, do you call your mom on both days or nah, at least tell her? Knows. He uh, never calls his mom. Or, my mom I tell my mom on both days. If you check my fucking phone log, wifey and moms are the two people I call the most. All right, because mom is a, she's an intricate part of everything I do on the back end with the brewery and just, because you know, she's my mom. And then wifey, just everything else. So yeah, I, I don't, fuck, I have a cell phone that I never make calls on. I have a cell phone that all we do is text or fucking do dumb they ass They call that a burner, right? Shit. Yeah, the burner. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy how phones have evolved. We want to get a phone because anytime we set a hotel and we take the kids, they lose their fucking mind when they see the phone because they don't know what it is. Mm. They run to it and they're like, oh, what's this? And if like uh, whoever we're traveling with, my parents or Jeez. my sister or friends are in the other room, bro, they pick up the phone and they start dialing that room. 
and it's ringing and they answer hello they lose their fucking shit <laughs> <laughs> it's like and it's true so wifey and i were talking about until they see disney yeah, we're, yeah, they'll yeah. Never see disney. <laughs> uh, we're talking about getting one of those old school rotary phones and just putting it in the house you yeah. know and just get because wait they don't know what a fucking phone is That's all, all they know is what a cell phone is and anything else, an answering machine is going to fucking just flip Ask if they know what an out. operator is. <laughs> what they fucking Do you know what an operator is? <laughs> they don't know what a fucking <laughs> operator is. Dude, I'm from zero. Can you still call the operator? Yeah. Let's yeah. find out right now. Okay. I'm from the era <laughs> of... Remember calling popcorn? Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> movie phone? Yeah, yeah, dude. I was from the movie <laughs> phone what era. What time is it? <laughs> yeah, what time it is called popcorn. That, that's how you know you're old as shit, bro. So yeah, you know what? I'm going to get my wife a rotary phone. for. <laughs> 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 well, it couldn't be any worse than this gift. This guy got his wife a Dremel. Do you know what a Dremel is? Hell yeah. I would be so stoked She's on like, a Dremel. Well, I think For it's maybe toes? a thoughtful gift. Wait, 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 wait. What is a Dremel? <laughs> a Dremel is one of those like grindy things that you can like write. Like it, like different tips, and it's yeah, it's multi tool. Can she use uh, it for nails, like fake nails? I mean, no? if she's like know. Bob Vila, it's like a Swiss, yeah, her fungus knife. toenail. Yeah, like <laughs> think of like a uh, hap, uh, fucking Dumb and Dumber with like <laughs> on his nails, like that's oh. kinda, that would be <laughs> a Dremel. A Dremel's more like yeah, for like craftsmanship, like oh. you would like mm. like write shit in a wall or something. Graffiti, oh. uh, illicit shit. Yeah, so. <laughs> Uh, she thought it was very thoughtful until she realized, oh, he just got it because he wants to use it, which also yeah, leads into the next one. That's Don't get move. your lady or your mother a gift card for a place that you want to go. <laughs> this dude <laughs> got a gift card for his lady uh, to a steakhouse, and she is a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> I bought wifey a gift card to Grasshopper. <laughs> Every yeah. Tuesday, you get three Emo Brown pre-rolls for $12. <laughs> <laughs> so use it wisely. <laughs> All right, the last one, the top one on this list. And I don't know, because everybody does this, so I guess it's like just talking shit and they want to be, uh, hey, there it is. Uh, they want to be a little bit of controversial. Don't get your mother or your Mother's Day lady a card. Mm. Like, handmade or bought, Either apparently. handmade. Don't get them don't, a card. Don't do anything oh, with a card. It says, that. this mom is very pissed off that for the last, like, whatever, 22 years, years, she's been getting handmade cards from her husband and her kid. Well, maybe she needs to step it up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> maybe she needs to appreciate you. Dude, wifey, wifey's I favorite nice card, cards, okay? Favorite gifts what about this card? Look at that card, bro. Ooh. You know, I'm going to give you your mom. I'm going to call your mom and I'm going to give her an Emo Brown social club card for fucking Mother's Day, bro. <laughs> I, they could use it in Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> wifey loves when we make cards for her because I bring the boys in and I have them right like What a if little, she just says she loves it? What if she, she really doesn't? She loves it. She loves it. Did she say it like this? I love it. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Barry. Maybe yeah. for now until they get bigger, then she's going to be like. I love how you're topical, Barry. You're, you're very on, on, on current politics and shit. Well done. Cheers, cheers, Barry. Thank you, Google. Lexi, give me something bueno. I'll go bueno for the week before oh, we jump shoot. out. Okay. Um, it's my birthday month. Take it Sorry, easy. I know it's your birthday week. Dropping dick. <laughs> one up in, one up in me. <laughs> but it's my birthday month. I don't know if guys I mean, you celebrate get older birthday every months, day? but I girls barely celebrate do. a birthday. <laughs> Yeah, so that's going on. And then, uh, yeah, I DJ tonight, Reggae Tuesday at The Where? Holding Company. THC. Shout yeah. out, Jake. Um, yeah, shout out to Jake and Jason. And then I also DJ there for uh, May 4th or May the 4th Be With You party mm. on Thursday. Nerd. Yeah, and then Friday, <laughs> I'm DJing at Manhattan for Cinco de Mayo. Hey, so you're just oh, killing yeah. it right now. Yeah. It's my birthday on Cinco de Mayo. Am I yeah, going you, to the Manhattan? You should. Right. Why don't yeah. you guys come after dinner? You better have some Selena have ready. Because they were the violent this morning. Can the money. I tell you why? Because I'm going to be 44. And at 34, I was already at home by 8 p.m. I'm Shh. not trying to fucking be in the streets at night on a Friday. Come on. Fuck that. Bro. I mean, you're not working on Saturday. That's very true. Goodness. That's very true. No. I, I mean, know. you're not working all week. Yeah, I know, fool. <laughs> Damn. I called in. Okay, so we just flew in yesterday, right? We came in the last one from fucking Culiacan to TJ and home. Oh my gosh. As soon as I left. Blessed. Whatever. I think we don't fucking. As soon as, as, soon as I got in. They have more important shit to do than <laughs> listen to this podcast. They're running UPS. Like, as soon as I rolled in, I hit up UPS and I was like, yo, fool. Like, I literally just cruised in. And I'm tired. I'm probably not going to come in this week. They're like, that's cool, Steve. Not no this fucking week. problem. I, wifey thought I was just going to call him for today. And I said, hey, if any personal days, any vacation day, any sick day, just add it towards this week. It's cool. Everyone's happy. We're going to go on strike soon. So they're trying to appease everyone. They're trying to use all those vacation hours. Fast forward this three months. I probably don't have a job. Oh, shit. That's out of nowhere. What I saw. Doing? <laughs> What's going on? Was that really them hitting the piñata? <laughs> no, yeah. This is going to be Steve's week off. Yeah, my week, bro. Doing steroids. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to every game this week, dude. Look at that. Hey, can you believe there's people that are butthurt saying that they are the Padres are culturally appropriating all the lucha libre and Mexican culture? Oh, well, we could ask somebody that's oh, coming up dog. after I the break. I saw yeah? that. He's back BFFs with this guy. All right, dog. That's a fucking cliffhanger. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought about it when I Casas saw really the video. Yeah, but they actually. were in Mexico City, and this was given to them by people from the culture that they're appreciating, not yeah. appropriating. Yeah, they didn't go buy this yeah. shit. Like, it was given to them. Like, this is, like, legitimate, legitimate cultural appreciation, not like your super famous, like, iconic, super fan of Como se llama Gwen Stefani. As a whole different fellow. <laughs> She's All just right? a girl, man. Leave her alone. <laughs> In the world. She's just spider webs. <laughs> you guys are stupid. <laughs> but yeah, I saw that this morning. I was reading. I was like, the fucking Padres are getting shit because their Instagram was all in Spanish while they were in Mexico City. Fucking relax, bro. That shit is bananas. And they're wearing fucking uh, the mariachi sombrero every time they hit home run. Like, chill, dog. All right? The Atlanta Brave fans are still out here doing the fucking chop. Like, fucking relax. Mm. Uh, like, y'all need to fucking chill on that. that. See, see, give me something good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do not feel comfortable coming in behind Whoa. this conversation <laughs> with the chop thing. Um, Why? Because you were just doing because it? Because Atlanta is no. so good right now. Okay, so uh, good things. Everything's good, man. I'm fucking chilling. Life is good. Like I said, I had a really, really low, boring week mm. this last week, and it was amazing. You so, played pool with me on Monday? Yes. I think you won, right? By default. That's how I always win. How are industry nights going at our beautiful Elwood bar? It's been going yeah. so good. It's very weird when having our Monday nights being busier than some of our weekend nights. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's kind of weird. But everyone's so rad. And then when you played, it was also another really fun night. And I'm really excited. <laughs> Maybe we when should you do played, it again. And then when you played, there was nobody there, but it was I fun. I feel like our bar is turning into like a really cool... Like, yeah, people, people love the Elwood. People it's, love the it, Elwood. And I'm it's so thankful. And it, and to everyone that comes and supports the Elwood, I really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Like, I wish I could be around more um, than I am already, believe it or not. But it is so rad. Like, everyone is so supportive and so loving. And we have the best bar crew mm. in South Bay. Close. Go ahead. At least, and we're like a total- At least at the Elwood, they have the best bar crew at the Elwood. We're yes. so not trying to be the best. And That's I truly true. think that uh, we are the best. Like, it's yeah. so crazy. When, when I DJed there, I was just like, damn, this is like a family. Like, it everybody is. was like, hey, do you need any help? Like, what can I do? Like, yeah. Yeah, everybody in the bar was talking to everybody. You know, you take your shit with them. Just, no, they yeah. were all super cool and really nice. And yeah. I have, I don't know any bar. Do you think the podcast has, has anything to do with that? Like, what we're creating here and what has been created with like our bar, you I know, do. I the don't fucking three punk at the brewery because these guys, you know, Kiki there, he's, he works at the brewery with us. He's there every fucking day, pretty much. So he sees it day in and day out. I, and the only reason I say it is when we were in Mexico City this weekend, listen up, Kevin, this deals with you too. We were in Mexico City. Everybody fucking knew what three punk ales was. Yeah. People were out there rocking three punk ale shit. People were out there rocking emo brown shit. And I was like, it was weird. It was weird because they, they were all sitting around. I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, three punk ales. And yeah, no, that's I've been telling you. I think the podcast you, has started to slowly like that brainwash is, people. That has been one of my <laughs> biggest transitions from being in front of the camera lately is that people coming up to me and saying stuff that I don't know them and they know my personal life. Oh, there we are. <laughs> look at I had COVID right there or some shit. Hell no, I yeah. had the spider bite. You were celebrating the burka look. Um, <laughs> The, it's just crazy when people come up to me and they know my private life and oh, they asking back, me about it. Go back, it. go back. Let's play a game. How many of these people no longer work with us? Let's see. Gabby still works with us. Christy still works okay. with us. Lilia, Kenya. Kenya. Everyone there right, works cool. with yeah. us. Good move, good move, good move, good move. Well done, well done. Well done. Aww. Beautiful photo. <laughs> cultivate a strong my, team. My love to Gabby. She is pregnant and taking some time off. And I miss Aww. her. I, I can't wait till she comes back. When are we doing that fucking Melrose Plays reality show out of the album? <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Uh, it's coming up. It's Eric? coming up. That's, that's a good show, yeah. man. I had to get this going first. Do you first. have this commercial ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just had to get this we going first. We have the commercial. Oh, it's pretty man. cool. We're fucking silly, dog. We're silly. <laughs> I love my stuff. What about bueno. you? Me? Fuck. What do I have? Let me see. Da, da, da. Oh, Mexico trip. Oh. Mexico City was awesome. Mexico City was... It just shows you that San Diego is slowly like seeping into every little crevice. <clears throat> Everywhere we go now, everywhere we travel, I see people rocking San Diego hats, bro, repping San Diego brands, whether it's like a fucking brewery or a band or whatever. There's tribal shit everywhere. Yeah. You know, you anywhere you travel, you're going to see tribal shit. Anywhere you travel, you're going to see like a San Diego brewery being pimped out, bro. We were out there in fucking forces, bro. We've sat in the right field area and that whole right field area it was all like Chula Vista. 
it was all South Bay areas out there. It was National City. It was it was fucking Bonita, Chula Vista, San Isidro, Imperial Beach, Del Sol. Everything, Palm City. Todo allá abajo, bro, was in our area. And everybody was like, oh, yeah, we go to the fucking Manhattan. We go to the Elwood. We <laughs> love Jesus, the brew. How aggressive. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was drunk, dog. Dude, you could buy two beers. Two beers for $6. Hell yeah. So they don't sell you a cup of beer. They sell you two beers in a cup. That's like a cup. And it's six dollars. We had fourteen fucking beers, and we weren't oh, even yeah. drunk. We were like, "What's going on here?" Do they do this every year? Water? I, they oh, do yeah. it every year. Uh, the last time we went was, I think, like three years ago, four years ago, when I was forty in Monterrey. So it was the Dodgers Padres playing in Monterrey. Same vibe, same shit. Everybody down there. I don't know if Padre fans exist out of South San Diego because all of oh. South San Diego. There's is one in Michigan down there, dude. Like They're that. all down at. We travel good. And a lot of the people down there were like, oh, man, the Padres travel hell of fucking heavy. They're well, everywhere, man. because we're right by TJ. We could fly out of Valari. Oh, we swept ooh, it, huh? Real like, quick. Ooh, look at that <laughs> shit, man. Nah, man. Uh, real talk. Did you go to both games or just one? I went to one game. And then oh, the no. second day, the second day we went to Frida's house, La Casa Azul, uh-huh. the museum. Casa Azul. That was fucking awesome. You know, I, yeah. I'm, not, I'm, I'm cultured. But I'm not like cultured like my sister and wifey and uh-huh. my white ass cousin, my brother in law. That motherfucker's cultured as fuck, dog. I had no fucking clue. Apparently, I had to fill out a handbook before I married my sister because this fool was up to speed on all the Mexican chess. <laughs> Mexican culture, Mexican history, fucking everything. He knew everything. I was like, good on you. You think the citizenship test is hard? Try marrying a Latina. Okay, awesome. What? Yeah, I had to learn a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Dude, my brother in law. Pressure's on you now. We all travel together. This fucker creates an itinerary mm-hmm. of all of the things we're going to do. I was like, yo, bitch, I can't fucking adhere to this because we're walking down. Did like, you guys Uber everywhere or did you have somebody? Traffic is shit. Yeah, traffic, I told is, you. traffic is absolute shit. You can't, you can't like expect anything to be. We were traveling five minutes away or five kilometers away. It took like an hour. I know. I told you. Yeah. So lot, that's why I said you're going to yeah. walk. We walked a lot. We did a lot of metro. So we did the metro. A lot of what, bro? The, ooh, a lot of gear. <laughs> See, I told you. I was like, make sure everybody does their cardio because yeah, you're going to be walking we, everywhere. So I didn't yeah. feel bad eating like a savage. Yeah, because we were it walking off. everywhere. We had to take the metro. We, we did everything. We were paisa as fuck. You know, we, we are paisas and we, and we lived up to our fucking name. And we were walking everywhere. And we, in order to get to the game, it was going to take like two hours in an Uber. Or 10, 20 minutes in the fucking metro. You jump on there, you jump around, blah, blah, blah. It was like New York. I've never even gotten on the metro. I mm. heard stories. Was it cool? Was it easy? It slammed. Oh. It's packed. They were sardines. People were fighting to get in. It was like watching a, a Japanese video on their railway system where yeah. or crossing the street where everyone's like, ah, and it goes into a single file line. Subtract the single file line with Mexicans. Yeah. And we just all slammed <laughs> in that bitch, man. It was crazy, but it was fun. It was a learning experience. I don't think I would ever want to live in, in Mexico City. That shit is just, it's overwhelming. Really? I overwhelming. love it. I I'm would. more Guadalajara. You know, like I go to Guadalajara, it's chill. I know my way around. But maybe if like in Mexico City, if I continue to go, I'll know my way around. And we just stayed in the city. I really wanted to go. I wanted to go like visit the pyramids, mm-hmm. visit some restaurants where on the outskirts. But that was just like, it was like a three And you went during trip. a big event. Yeah, it was just slammed. Padres ripped. Food was awesome. We went to a Look bunch at the metro of right here. That's what it looks like, fool. Like That's a insane. Shit. On the metro. Oh Chase, did you ride it from the Zocalo at all? <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, I thought you were joking around. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's hey, it. that's for real. Did yeah. you get yeah, on it from the, the Zocalo at all, or you were in yes. another area? No, we were. Did you see, like, underneath, under the ground? Nobody's getting like, off either. All of that shit. You can see it? Look at those people, bro. Like a Taylor Swift concert or some shit. <laughs> that's crazy. No mames. Yeah. So, yeah, if you see, if you look closely, you see my brother in law. <laughs> talking to somebody about the weather, like <laughs> crazy weather. You guys tomorrow. It's gonna be nice that's and warm. Getting anxiety that's because his itinerary is getting pushed back. Fuck Where that. are you from? <laughs> I'm I'm from Del Cerro, but I, I married a Mexican. I'm we are three Lisa minutes now. behind. <laughs> 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 Fucking Sean, big up to Sean. I love I love traveling with my, my, my sister and my brother in law. I had a good time. <laughs> they do shit that wifey and I wouldn't do. Wifey and I like to travel and have like a loose schedule. Easy. Like we got to hit this, we got to hit that, and then let's see what we hit along the way. Nah, man, these motherfuckers. I, I think I deleted the itinerary just to be an asshole. Yeah. Let me see if it's on here, though. It's fucking. He it had, has its perks. Oh, no, no, it yeah, does. For sure. I like it for like some things, right? Like, okay, I'll do that, but I don't want to do everything else. Or, you know, I can even adhere to, have to a an plan itinerary. in the morning. Like, sometimes I forget brushing my teeth. Like, I like structure. If someone wants to go ahead and make an itinerary, I'm all about it. I'll look at it. I'll, I might miss, I'll miss something on that itinerary. We ate all point. the fucking food. They're mm. famous for like churros. So there, we went to like the, the birthplace of the churros. It's called Churros El Morro. And we had like a bag of churros. And dude, things are so inexpensive outside oh, yeah. of fucking San Diego. 
Yeah. And then mm-hmm. you, you think that Mexico City would be pricey, right? But nah, nah but it's it, a was, good time. it was a good time. I'm telling you, six dollars for two beers. Yeah. They bring you the beers to your fucking seat and they're making you a drink there we had uh um, did you give him a tip hey yeah. you ever seen my beer like this just Ooh, just no <laughs> just no uh, they <laughs> loved that what's the, the, the swingers mentality yeah. hey i'm gonna be here all day you know i'm just setting the precedent now just letting you know <laughs> you keep my cup full i'll keep giving it to you they were fucking um roll tacos the chiquita bro and that's like little pork shredded meat and mm. they brought it to you roll tacos right there they're making it for you right there they're making you tortas Right there in the front. Carne seca, mixed drinks, all the nuts Listen you ever up, wanted. Petco, learn Did you something. go into any of the shopping areas? Like we're all all of them. Okay. Dude. Because I know you were by Frida's house. Yeah, so, so there's there's nothing but like uh tianguis. How do I say tianguis yeah. in English? Uh fucking like a swap meet almost. Yeah. It's almost like a swap meet, like but an it's indoor. Like, it's like a whole pueblo. It's indoor, it's outdoor, outdoor. it's like all of the things. Bro, we're fucking up at Peco, but not that much. Cause a lot of the shit that they offer down there, we offer here just like at a zero. Three you know? million times. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. We had a fucking beer and a little cup of fucking taco. Or taco. <laughs> little cup of elotes, bro. And it was like $7. You know? Oh, yeah. I, and I looked up before I, I, I said this. $14 for a cup of corn here at Peco. And the beer is $19. No mames. Shit. Yeah. That's why Kevin and I will never sell three punk ales beer <laughs> at fucking Peco. Yeah, Michi, a Michi at Dodger Stadium is like 24 bucks. What? And yeah. it's at the Dodger Stadium. Oh, yeah. and oh by the way, horrible. since we're on the Dodgers, did you see who's number one in the NL West? Who is? Mm. Not the Dodgers? Yeah, By a half game Dodgers. over the Padres? It's one game. Is that what we're doing? You're one game back. We're doing this? Yeah, let's You're do getting... it. Shit. Well, fuck you. <laughs> you ain't ready for that. <laughs> Give me something good, Barry, before I yell at CC. <laughs> I survived an uh, all ages clean show. Like I've done all ages shows where I'm allowed to like you know cuss and be fucking Barry, but uh, this one it was like a Spring Valley day, so it was like a big fair fair type deal where like Ooh, you was know Ryan Anthony there? Yes. Oh nice. And uh, we were all just out there chilling, and I'm looking around. I'm like, oh man, like I don't think I could play Red Cups even. <laughs> like what the fuck? So I had to like pivot real quick. I only played an hour, so that. Mm. Made it a lot easier. I don't have to play three hours. But, but you only have a catalog that's 12 minutes and 48 minutes. And of they, you all talk shit. they all say fuck, yeah. <laughs> so I had to think real quick on my feet, but I made it happen. I made it work. Nice. And uh, people bought some stickers too, so boom. You're Work's still hustling. But you're out there. Here's the move. Uh-huh. I've learned it. If if you're playing some shit and you don't know if you can cuss or not, mm. and uh, you got to like really think of some clean material, play happy birthday because there's somebody's birthday out there. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I was like on the <laughs> mic and I was like, uh, unless you're playing to a room full of Jehovah's Witnesses. I was literally in my head having the debate like, <laughs> then there's no red fucking cups, no red cups, red cups, no red cups. What should I put? Oh, fuck, it's a birthday somewhere. <laughs> oh so I was like, God. I'm sure it's somebody's birthday and I fucking like play happy birthday and people behind me are like, eh. I'm like, yeah, see, it's birthday time. Oh, good on you, Which Barry. birthday? Play happy birthday. Which happy Thinking. birthday? All of them. I didn't play the. the Can ending. you do the Stevie Wonder one next time? Um, Lexi with the request. Close my eyes. What do I do? No. The, oh my song. god. What's the birthday song? He has a birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday uh, to you. No. Lexi and I started that one time. <laughs> we were we faded did. one time. Close your eyes. You want to see if there's a down ass <laughs> crowd? If there's a down ass crowd, and and you want to like kind of gauge their how fucking cool they are. Just start screaming beso at two random people <laughs> and just see what happens, bro. We were doing that beso, the whole fucking game. Like that? Yeah, the whole game beso, at, at fucking Mexico beso. City. And then dudes would just kind of be like, uh. <laughs> 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 We're like, wow, we really made them do some outlandish oh, shit. Oh, that's dude. hilarious. When you guys see me at the Elwood in the Manhattan next, be the best I can. <laughs> <laughs> no, fool. they want us, uh, the podcast, to go up to Orange Glen High School in Escondido with Dr. Martin Casas. He's inviting us to go up there to do a podcast. What? Is that your cousin? But we're not. No, oh, no, no, man. <laughs> That's but, his doctor. But I keep telling him, fool. I was like, yo, fool. Have you heard the podcast? We can't fucking just like kiss right? Cam. <laughs> <laughs> I, it would be like a three minute Here. fucking podcast. Kisses. You know, I think it would kiss it. Kiss Cam, they kiss Cam. The, co- the coppers would get mad. The coppers would get mad. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, says you have anything fun to share? Are we all good? We're all good, man. Hey, let's take a break. Yep. Because we... we I hate throwing around the word legend because, you know, fucking that's a little weird. But we had a fucking living legend coming through. A pillar of the community. Somebody put certain areas of San Diego on the map, on their back, and taking it to the next level. We have Sunny Sandoval coming in through in a little bit after the break. Stick around, grab a drink, and we'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are back from a break where things get a little outlandish. <laughs> things get a little bit crazy. We're back with somebody that I've never met. Somebody that I, you know, I've looked up to for a very long time. Somebody from the community, a leader, a pillar of the community in many aspects, man. You know, you may have heard of POD. <laughs> Maybe. You may have heard of Youth of the Nation Foundation. Tal vez. You may have heard of the Whosoever's. Tal vez times two. 
We have the man, the myth, the living legend here with us. El compa de P.O.D. El mero mero. El Sandy Sandoval, bro. Yeah. What's up, man? Yeah, First off, welcome, Thank bro. You for the intro. Fuck, dog. Thank you for coming in, Humbly. man. Thank you for coming in. You are from here. You are South San Diego. And and I, I use the term very cautiously when I, I, I present somebody and say, oh, living legend. This, but you are, bro. Mm -hmm. Dog. A legend in San Diego who took that worldwide mm -hmm. and has been making it work for 30 years. And trying. Try, try, yeah. yeah <laughs> every day is a try. That's right. Give us a little background on how you started, where you started. Um, I grew up uh, off of Palm Avenue, but then I moved over to Del Sol. And then, uh, same old, same old. I mean, you have you make your choices in life, you know. When we, we live here, um, you know, you only have so many opportunities. And I came from a young family, uh, you know partying, selling drugs, all that, not even to go into that stuff, but, um, and then, you know, your friends kind of fall into the same way, and, but I, uh, we were talking earlier, like I was raised Catholic, and so I never had a problem with God, um, I just didn't know God, and so long story short, as things happened to my family, my mother got sick, and, um, but she became, um, she started to follow God, and I saw changes in my, in my entire family, um, from selling drugs to always getting in trouble, just um, street stuff. <clears throat> I saw God encounter my family, and I saw personal change, not religious changes. So something I always respected. Uh, but when my mom was diagnosed with um, leukemia, I went less than a year, she would pass away, but I watched her go through a process. And it just became more real to me that <clears throat> she had found something that was, you know, this is the meaning of life. You know, that's and how you I saw it in her. I saw it, yeah. And um, so when um, she got really sick, um, and she, it was over at, um, uh, Kaiser over there and, um, Zion, Zion. Yeah. Hey. She couldn't communicate anymore and she was in a, pretty much in a coma, but I was headed home or I went to the parking lot and uh, I, I just had my real first big boy conversation with God. And I just said, you know, I, I, I know I'm a sinner, you know, I, I know I do things wrong and I don't have things figured out, but I also believe that there's a you know that God, you 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 made a way, right? I believe I believe in Jesus. I believe that you died for my sins. I've seen that through my mom, and I just said, you know, God, if my mom dies, I don't. I'm probably gonna hurt somebody or hurt myself. And I just I said, I just want the peace that she has. Um, and I said, if you can do that, I just said, I want my mom's Jesus. I don't I don't want, you know, West culture, Westernized. Blonde, blonde hair, blonde blue, hair eyes. blue eye, European, yeah. TB, no offense, Barry. TBN, no, no, no offense, Barry. I got Hazel. We're good. <laughs> TBN, you know what I mean? Like <clears throat> that that type of business. And so I just said, God, if you can do that, I just want my mom to die, pretty much just die in peace. <clears throat> and so I, you know, I said that prayer, and then I went back inside and I whispered into her ears and I said, you know, go be with Jesus. Like I'll, I'll be, I'll be cool. You know, I'll, I'll take it from here. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it from here. And so, wait a minute. So how old were you when this happened? You said I was nineteen. Nineteen. That is she a big boy conversation. 30, yeah, to she have. was only thirty-seven. No, my mom, yeah, teeth, my mom like, was, no. she was young. So once once I did that, you know, it was just time to to grow up. And so I just I just started reading the Bible. You know, I just made a conscious effort and decision to to try my best. You know, to live to live righteous. Not that I'm righteous, but to try to live better. You know, and do good. And that's when um, you know I just said, God, if you can use my life to 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 bless somebody or to help somebody, then then do it. You know, my life is not my own. What do you think, Kevin? Has it happened? I hope so. You have? At least oh, one. I'm gonna <laughs> hey, man. Uh, <laughs> when, we'll, so. and we'll get into all that later. Yeah. But yeah, like, Youth of a Nation, Alive, yeah. like those songs, bro. I never I never, never expected that. Like, like I was going to say, my the, the guys in my band, you've interviewed Marcos, and Marcos. my cousin. DJ Marquitos, EDMs, <laughs> find it. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. But they 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 were already like kind of in a thrash band, you mm -hmm. know, and they had Escortes. asked me. Yeah, yeah, some. Yeah. You said that. Oh, right. <laughs> I remember I went <laughs> straight I to went. Barry. Wait. But it was just like house parties, you know, and and we used to go and and boys and girls club. Yeah, yeah. I went to. And um, we know you hang out there. <laughs> yeah, God, was, damn fool, selling yourself out today, dog. <laughs> it was a good show. Yeah, was, but they they had asked me to mm -hmm. to be in the band, and it was nothing that I ever expected. Like I, even this, like I've. I just don't even like hearing my voice. You know, I, I don't like being the center of attention. Mm. And um, so I never had like dreams or aspirations of being in a band. I, I don't even, I don't even consider myself a musician really. I don't, 
I don't play. I mean, I'm goof around, but like it's nothing I plan for. It's not like I had rock bands on my. Yeah. Okay. You know. I, um. So, but they asked me, and then long story short, again, a lot of things confirmed that maybe that was what I was supposed to do. But I, I didn't think I'd ever leave San Diego. We just played parties, and like as I said. You know, boys and girls boys club, and girls just club. Java, just what Java, all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. bro, yeah. that's Third Avenue's finest <laughs> fucking music. That's venue. a connector for a lot of people in this town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember we're all three connected Shea. by that place. Shake Cafe, right? Shake Cafe, oh, Shea Cafe. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, that's so, crazy. So you went it. in. Were you a fan of the style of music, the Marquitos, and your cousin? What we were playing at that time? I was, but I didn't really get into like punk rock music until um, maybe early high school. Mm. I grew up in like a rock and roll family. And then when I, you know, when you hit that seventh grade where you start finding music yourself, it was more like hip hop and reggae music for me because it was, it was conscious and it was, Mm. to me, it was street music, you know, Um, rock and roll to me, you know, no offense. Same thing with punk rock. I was like, why would I listen to a bunch of white guys screaming at me, you know, but, or to me at that point, it was like sex pistols or something. I'm like, what do I have? I don't relate to some white English guys. Mm. But then when I saw bands like Suicidal Tendencies and, and Bad Brains and I saw guys of color. Minor Threat then maybe, I, a little yeah, bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then I like thought, why, why, what do these guys know that that I don't know? And that's what made me kind of dig into the crates. And then I was like, well, there's a lot of bands of color that are from the street. This music is conscious. It is street music. It is. And so, you know, like I said, I didn't know what I was doing. I'd goof around with the guys and, and rap and stuff. But then when they asked me to be in the band, I was like, it was more for the meaning of like maybe I can just scream out the stuff I'm going through, the faith that I'm discovering, my my anger, my pain, all this stuff, and maybe I, and I can do that. Why not? But so that was the goal. The goal was, was the to goal. use this opportunity after the big boy conversation yeah. that you had and the self realization that this is maybe what I got to do. Yeah, you just took that mentality, that thought process, and said, "Let's Only go." Only because things happened that said that that was to me was pretty divine and and you know and I've shared that in other stories and stuff it's it's long but that's when I cuz when the guys first asked me I said dude that's not me that I can't I can't do that I can't even go in front of a crowd and talk you know and uh, or speak and and but when things happen then I said I, right. I think it's supposed supposed to be oh, yeah man, but I didn't know what I was I didn't know again I didn't know what I was doing the first show was at Soma's in the dungeon like I'm <laughs> I'm my back's turned to the crowd like I'm embarrassed you know I get it's not it, I'm not a joker in that way. I don't like I don't like being the center of attention, you know. Thirty so, years later, look at you. Well, it's just gotten a lot of fun. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> so that I was enjoy it now. Thirty years later, still flourishing, still touring, still playing, yeah. still doing your things. POD is still the fucking main yeah. source, the main everything for you. It's been a blessing, man. That's bananas, man. Yeah. Same group, same, same lineup, some minor tweaks, but we still had pretty some much. Tweaks, you know, here and there when Marcos wasn't in the band for a few years and he came back. And then so we're just kind of shuffling, just kind of figuring it out, you know. So it's uh Kurt but Loder. I mean all together we still all I remember love each other. I remember coming home and then like, Kurt Loader came on MTV News. Yeah. Uh, this just news. in Marcos Curiel is no longer right? MTV. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's back when it was like wow. big. It was big. You the know? MTV yeah. experience was fucking weird, bro. <laughs> the, from TRL yeah. to like um MTV Music Awards to all those so things. So you probably did that TRL. Did you do that? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. that's what, what I, yeah. I actually remember watching you on yeah. TRL uh. when I was like 14, maybe like right. Okay. And I'm from Bakersfield. She's You're 19 now. There. She's 19. <laughs> <laughs> so you were, so you were I a feel corn so, fan. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I am. Actually. Meth, she likes meth and corn. <laughs> in that order. <laughs> Not in that order. <laughs> Relax. But no, I, it's so cool seeing you in person, and I feel so cool to. Be able to represent Bakersfield because yeah. you were so big in my city and like that's awesome. and not all six to, people out there. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. all related. But it's just so neat. Like oh, I feel right. like I'm nerding out right now. That you, you're right. You know oh, what it so was cool. for me is to just see someone that was also Mexican out there doing their thing. Yeah, like that was big. Like wow, we can do that too. You know? No, one hundred percent. And I think that's what people saw too. That yes. you know they when they pictured white. Like you asked me earlier, do you like metals? Like I, I really don't. I mean, no disrespect to metal. I didn't grow up on that stuff, and that's just really not my my thing. What well, were we, the influences growing up? <clears throat> like the yeah, obviously hip hop and stuff. I grew up on a lot of reggae music, um, rootsy stuff. More rootsy, more stuff. rootsy. Yeah, yeah. More California like, reggae, uh, me kind of not really. No, no. I mean, more but rootsy. again, that's just the old guy in me. You know, I was saying say, that. yeah, yeah. But Dude, I, when this video hit, though. 
Yeah, see, mm-hmm. we did it right in front of our neighborhood. Bro. Like, I mean, that, that hey, was the, the, the like, Estanos Pinchi Riviera Brothers, bro. The yeah. and Sammy. <laughs> the, honestly, bro, this for me, this is the video that said, fuck. Yeah. You can look like you me do and it. do this shit? Yeah, yeah that's it, the whole it's mystique It's possible. Of it. oh, I went to my homie's house, uh, Maitland Roots, yeah. and he was like, oh, yeah, you know the POD video was shot right here. Yeah, those <laughs> the brothers, they, I'd known them since they were babies. Yeah. Yeah. No. They just playing on the street. But that was that was intentional. We're like, dude, if we're not Hollywood. We're not Mm-mm. we're not rock stars. Like, dude, we're gonna show our neighborhood, we're gonna show people of color. If you look at like even the Rock the Party video after mm-hmm. that, yeah. we showed every different whole, color, yeah. you know, every every nationality. My kids get hype watching the video South Town Phone. My yeah. kids get hype. I was watching I said, Look who's coming that. on the podcast. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's weird because growing up, that's what we saw. It's like I can be in a band. I can do something, and I don't have to fucking fake it or pretend. I can be myself and do this kind of stuff, yeah. and things will happen. Well, that's what we were. We wanted. We weren't trying to highlight us. We were trying to highlight the people of our neighborhood, the, our street. You know, this is where we come from, and um, and this is all we knew. It wasn't like we were trying to be artsy and all creative. It was like this is all we know. We we, we play on these streets, and then if you notice all the bands after that too, it's like then you, they all started showing. Their audience and they started showing live performance. I was gonna say more about people. You spend millions of dollars on that kind of marketing, you know. But it's like, what the fuck is marketing when you're doing it for real? You know, like you're not trying to market. That Southtown video wasn't a marketing ploy. No, no, it was like this is where I'm from. These are the people that I fuck with, and these are the people that support us, and ultimately are going to elevate us to hanging out with Carson Daly. (laughs) You know what I mean? But anything else, bro, in life, if you're authentic and genuine, like people will, they, 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 they're gonna take it. And make it their own, you know. Sometimes Three words. How about this one? The, the cribs. Ah, hey, <laughs> same, same house. Dog. All right. Same house. Habitaciones. <laughs> same house. This, crazy. Crazy. this was mind blowing, Sonny. Yeah. Dog, this so was this fucking. Is the house yeah. On that street. That's Maitland. Yeah. yeah. 562. This is mind blowing. <laughs> Watching this for the first time and being like, fuck, that's right there. You could see Mexico, bro. The oh, border yeah. is yeah. right there. And they yeah. used a real house. It wasn't yeah. like one of those ones where it's like, I rented this for the weekend. Yeah. Oh, well, that's where we live. That's yes. where we practice. And, and back then, were you guys hip that like other people were renting houses or and stuff like that? Because obviously bro, it's a, no it came out later, right? That like uh No, no, no. We bro, we still were this was still like kind of the climb. We were at an airport, like trying to get to a another show and yeah. um, at the time it was just like a master p you know million dollar chandeliers all this stuff so when we got a call and they said they want to do cribs on pod we laughed we thought it was a joke <laughs> yeah we're, like, oh, we're still rent we don't own our home you know yeah and um and they said no that's what we want we want the real oh that's the cool real wow deal. so once they did that it became the most popular so you'll notice again they started the same are. thing all of a sudden they start showing red, red man, man. Red man's, people, yeah. and they're acting all hood I'm like I know red man don't live in that apartment red <laughs> man, <laughs> that, red man was fake. that was wild that was fake it, was it all blew fake. my mind when I found out that was fake bro I was like yeah. fuck yeah red man keeping oh. the gang so he does like, the oh. doorknob the, yeah, the, the yeah, hanger yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> his restroom's hella tiny all the homies are passed out for the night before it's like this is this is all set up. You yeah. guys have brought so much pride and, and like uh, motivation to the South Bay. You brought you brought mm. shine on the South Bay. We were talking earlier, but like, there's a certain amount of people down here in South San Diego that have done that. You know, Big Mountain, you know, yeah. for sure. You guys, dog. Like, you guys took what he did, took the baton and said, all right, boom, full force, all the way. Yeah. Grammy nominated. I'm, all of these things, worldwide, nationwide tours, bro. Yeah. Doing your thing. Taking your message on the road. Taking your message worldwide and having... Fans, kids, young ones, adults, just buying in and all yeah. into what you're doing, bro. When I hear that, like it's it still trips me out that that's what's happened, you know, because it was never that was never the intention. We were just being us, and and you know when TRL, you know, and they jumped on board, and 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 people started recognizing, you know, obviously 9/11, all that stuff hit. Our music was was different. Um, and the so album dropped on 9/11. Right? The album dropped on 9/11, and and. I think Alive was uh, was the number one rock song at the time, and it was number one TRL video. So you know, again, they there was a spotlight on it. Nobody wanted to hear sex, drugs, and rock and roll anymore. It was like everybody's looking for the the meaning of life and real we, shit. And we, yeah, something yeah, real. And we have a song called Alive. You know, Oy. that's fucking nuts. And 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 it's crazy because you know what? Three words I think of to describe POD. Anytime, anytime I fucking think about it, and, and the words are fucking consistency. Hustlers and real. Because you see bands that start 10 years in, 
15 years, 20, and their styles have just changed. They're kind of going oh, yeah, with the yeah. trend. They're going this. Oh, I got fucking spiky hair now. Look at me. I have a mohawk. It's blue now. It's purple. I'm wearing leather. I'm not wearing a shirt. I got nipple rings. Why are you calling me out like that? about you, Barry. I haven't worn a nipple ring in a long time. You've been fucking consistent. As, yeah. It was like yesterday, bro. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was last week at the Manhattan <laughs> Pool. <laughs> You've kept it. You guys collectively have kept it consistent from the onset, bro. From like, And I just described that whole scene as tribal shit. You know, like yeah. that, 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 that whole like vibe, that whole everything is, is graffiti, it's street, it's low rider, it's cultural. It's South San Diego. It's San Diego. For sure. It's Southern California. Yeah. You know, it, it's very tri tribal, tribal street wear still, like big ups to compa el pinche tío Bobby. Mm. Driving home from fucking Arizona. I hit him up this morning. He's like, I'm driving home from Arizona, getting ready for that <laughs> seven and a half hour ride. Ooh. I said, tune in. MeticheMonday.com. We <laughs> we'll got get you, bro. We'll we get you got there. you, bro. But yeah, real talk, man. It's hard to be that, especially in an industry like the music industry. Yeah. I don't know about it. Barry knows about it a little bit. But more importantly, you've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly of the music industry, bro. Yeah. There's, no, there's no happy ending, you know? No, no, no. Like I said, bro, we didn't know how to be any any different. And it was just nice for once that that mainstream was catching on to that rather than you trying to chase it. You know what I mean? But obviously it only lasts for so long. Yes. But if you I mean if you if you look at all the bands, I mean, we still look the same, bro. It's still There's no difference, bro. Like, yeah. Not, you know, and all the seasons when all those bands, you know, they they continue to do all the things you said, we we didn't do it because it wasn't it wasn't real. I think we have more um, honor in where we come from and who we are, and you know, just tradition and the people we are, rather than trying to be Hollywood. And, oh, and but that's but that also keeps me from going farther in the game because I won't, you know, I won't. You won't compromise yourself, you know? though, bro. But look at what you said, honor. Yeah, that's what the I fuck won't. it is, Sonny. It's yeah. honor. You're representing so a certain it's... culture, a certain community, a certain demographic. Yeah, and you take that shit on the road. In the nineties, you took that shit in the road. Yeah. In the nineties, you took people like us that look like us on the road to Des Moines, Iowa. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to fucking, <laughs> to fucking sure, Wichita, Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to, to sure. spot Minneapolis, dog, you, Montana. Then, How the fuck was that, dog? How was that in the late nineties? <laughs> yeah, tell us Trump. about that. It was, it was, it was crazy, man. I mean, like now it's you know with social media and everything, and now people have they have more tattoos than than me. You know. Like, Females now are tattooed all over their face. So there's no shock value anymore. But for us, you know, to be, we look like we're from the neighborhood. We, we you know, we're covered in tattoos. We're not your average, you know, white guys in a rock and roll band. There was, um, there was mystery in, in that. You know what I'm saying? But we saw when we, would, we got in a van and trailer and we took off, you know, we get into different states and get outside of California and use you started to experience, you know, racism. You started to experience all these things that you've read about or hear about. Now I'm not, real. not so much, you know, but but even going before, we used to have a bet. Trey, um, Trey's our bass player. He's black, and we would always say, he would say, watch, I'm going to get served last. We'd go to Denny's. And we're like, nah, dog, that's just that's just you being you, you know? And sure enough, bro, all the time, we would get his food last. Or we'd, we'd pump, uh, go to the gas station and get gas, and then we'd be like in Mississippi or something and do it. People would just stare at us like, what the wow. heck are we doing? Like, like we're just <laughs> passing through to get gas, you know? So you don't have to name them, but are there some states you won't go back to? No, no. no. Okay. Like I said, no. But even then, that wasn't, we we would play wherever. Yeah, we were cutting your teeth. Cutting we your we teeth, played wherever bro. they let us play because we always saw it as like an opportunity. Yeah. We could, you had to. We could, to get out here and shine. And, and that was the beauty of it is that we weren't. Like every, we weren't like them. We were different in a, in a mm -hmm. good way, you know. But we wanted them to experience that. And but that was the cool thing about music that. too. You play, and then the people you would see in front of you are like, dude, this is what brings us together. Mm -hmm. You know, like you could be from Mississippi, and we drove all the way from San Diego, and, but you came to the show, and you're gonna buy a T-shirt afterwards to support the band, and yeah, and you're gonna tell people, you know, about this. And that's what, that's why I love music. That's mm -hmm. when they say music is universal. It's like that's. You know, and then and yeah. then that the next level is go to a different country, and you're like, wow. Did you ever imagine crazy. thirty plus years later you no. still be doing this thing right now, flourishing, no. selling out places, bro? No. Anywhere you fucking go, it just no. just people are there, man. I watch, I see. That's why I'm, I'm creeping, dog. I'm, I'm why, like, oh my god. That's why it's it's humbling, and it should be humbling. And if everybody and anybody was to sit here and say, um, oh no, I expected that, or that's that's right, I deserve and this. The, yeah, I deserve this. I work hard, and we all work hard, you know, but. For this to happen, that's it's it was never. 
planned. Like I, I never, we never planned it. We were just loving what we were doing, and uh, we did it together. And what was the goal was, then when it started? You think they had a vision board or something? Yeah. Like, <laughs> 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 they were called <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Not, so They're nobody, going with the flow. There's no vision <laughs> board? <laughs> <laughs> no, Steve loves a good vision board. Oh, man, no, <laughs> That's <laughs> great. Was plus there like nine. a certain <laughs> show that was like, all right, we made it. Like we sold out before you hit MTV, any of that. Did that ever happen? Well, we, we would... I mean, we would just play underground clubs on our own. You know, that's one of the reasons we got signed. I'll never forget. I think it's in Michigan. It's called Wald, Wald Lake, Michigan. And on a Wednesday night, we had a thousand kids there. And the a and John Rubley from Atlantic Records went to see us. And he, when he saw the thousand kids on a Wednesday night, oh. he said that's when he knew. And he's an wow. old punk rock guy. But at the time, you know, there was there was platinum selling artists that can't even pack out bars. And he's like, you guys are, I mean, we're nobody and you're packing out a, with kids, you know, where the young people are at. It's like, this is a this is a movement. Oh, and so he took God. a chance on us. Out know? of all towns, like Michigan, random. Right. Well, that's because at that point, I, I want to say like 96, we were already putting in work for, for years. Mm -hmm. We started in 92 and then we, you know, we'd take our three week vacation in the summer and we would just, you know. We would just go play shows, but that was all. Be, that was all. There was no social media back then. That was just because you played before. Iconic, right there. For and not even that. <laughs> yeah. Most of the bands back then were so contrived. Like we got all these boy bands being like plucked and from audiences. Like, all right, we're gonna make them this way. And you yeah. guys, well, that were was so yeah. organic, and it was one. Of, but you're on the same charts as them. That's why we and stood out. Everyone. Yeah. This is when MTV was like still very relevant for music yeah. where we had and you guys were in the center of it yeah, which was and mind blowing yeah incredible that you guys had that stage to where even now you had this legacy and yeah. we're all very familiar with it and it's just so cool yeah. that you was, know that and was you did a mind that. blowing but see again without social media that was contributed to the fans because we had put in so much work so if you remember trl it was because there was only a time limit and if it was boy East Coast, do we <laughs> you had to pick up the phone and call remember and vote yeah. for the video oh, yeah. now yeah. you can get on your phone two seconds this is my favorite back then you had to you actually had to care enough to to take time out of your day to do that and because it was the fan base that we had created underground that's the Ugh. only reason why they recognize us. they're so like awesome. who is this band because it wasn't like we weren't on anybody's radar except the underground and then when the kids started, kids, when, when we started calling in and voting for POD, they had to take notice. And that's the power in numbers. You know, that's, yeah, they had you to You wedged yourself to in there. There was yeah. no way to not pay well, attention to what did. POD was paying yeah. attention to. It's like, yeah. they, oh, fuck, who are these guys? I mean, they were used to the corns and even mm -hmm. the Limp Bizkit mm -hmm. at the time. But then once they got, they saw us, we were different than them, yes. bro. We're not, you know, like, And we no need to disrespect. focus on, no, there's no disrespect, yeah. but that's something to harp on. That's something to hang your hat on. That's something to be like, fuck. Yeah. Because it's like, yes, Limp Bizkit did their thing. And you guys are like, you know, contemporaries in yeah, that yeah. genre. And we'll get into genres right now as well. Yeah. And corn and all this. But you guys, completely different, bro. Completely yeah. fucking different. Yet the same style of this in a world where you think you would get no shine. We wedged ourselves in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like we, we said, fuck up. it, dog. You know what? We are no longer the silent minority. We are a rising majority. And these are the people that represent us the most. Yes, I like Limp Bizkit, but I don't fucking relate with Fred Durst, bro. I don't, right. I don't, I don't relate with no, Fred 100%. Durst. Well, and he has to go home too. And like people expect him to be like pissed off Fred Durst. Like he goes to the grocery store. They're like, come on, Fred, break something, man. <laughs> but like you guys, I like you like get to be yourself. water, like, bro. That's yeah. not for me. Yeah, and and then, I look, and you know, then I look at Jonathan Davis. <laughs> I fucking, I fucking love blind. I can, I love all yeah. the, you know, I love corn, but that I love it, but that's not representative of me. Yeah. You know? So when you came out, you address something I didn't even know needed addressing, Sonny. Right. You know, I was like, I'm just enjoying this music. And then I saw, he was like, oh shit. Yeah. This motherfucker is us. He's from here. <laughs> no, what, you know, it's like, what the fuck is going on? So somebody like us can do what he's doing, go on world nationwide tours, get the attention of MTV. Yeah. Get the attention of an a and &R guy on a Wednesday where we're drawing a thousand people in the middle of fucking nowhere, get signed to a major label and yeah. just let shit kind of happen. That's the power that you brought, man. Yeah. You know, and, and like you said, you didn't have an idea of that's what it was, but you took the situation and the opportunities that were granted to you and you use them to the best of your abilities 
to open doors, open eyes, and open minds to motherfuckers that look like us, yeah. that look like Plomero, yeah, that look sure. like fucking Angel, that look sure. like kind of like the nurse, whatever. You know, <laughs> like you know, like you, you you took those opportunities and you turned them into something more. Because some motherfuckers took these opportunities and they just fucking throw it away, bro. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, but again, like we said back then, it wasn't it wasn't as common. Nowadays, you know, mm-hmm. so much. But back then, it was really just putting the the light on that, and it wasn't like if I mean, you gotta understand. We left California, and then you're talking to somebody in a different state. They think everybody's in gangs. Everybody, you know, there's drive-bys every day. You know, uh, earthquakes. You know what I mean? It's just a, it's an ignorance across across the states. But for them to see us and think, well, these are cholos. They're probably in a gang and stuff. No, but they make music. They might be right, but yeah. still. <laughs> I mean, we also play Not guitar. They're wrong, but, <laughs> <laughs> but there's more to it. At yeah. least, it, at least it gave them. You know, a little bit of longer uh, attention span to like, let me see yeah. what these guys are about. And then, you know, obviously we incorporated, we're talking about our city. We, we you know, we talk about our faith, all these different things. It, there was just, there was substance there. And it wasn't just, you know, some rock and roll lyrics to party to. And then, you know, there was, but that was the scene that we came from, the hardcore scene. It was like, whether you agreed or with them or not, they were saying something. And I've always wanted to be a band that had something to say, or why was I doing it in the first place? It wasn't to be... In front of people, because no. I don't like being in yeah. front of people. You're on some Jim Morrison shit. You didn't even want to face the crowd, bro. <laughs> Your back was to the crowd. You're like, no. It was. <laughs> no me miren. It was. No me miren. <laughs> I don't know why I was so afraid, because it was all the homies anyway in the in the crowd, you know. But because you knew it was coming if you did, bro. <laughs> when as soon as you turn around, you knew. MTV was waiting. Bro. It was like, fuck, I don't want, I'm not ready for it. You just don't want to turn around and see when your good buddies looking up at you like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, first time I ever heard of POD, like I mentioned earlier, was on a waiting in line at Soma at Pinchy, not the one in downtown, the one on Morena Boulevard. So yeah, I'm waiting yeah. at Morena Soma Boulevard. Too. Yeah, Soma, Soma the Manadose, dose, bro. Yeah. Len and Jeremy. Len and Jeremy, mm-hmm. I believe. Len and Jeremy mm-hmm. were the name of the guys, the proprietors, the guys who owned Soma at that time. And back then, there was no social media, sonny. I don't know if you remember, but there was no social media. And if there was, there not was... Not even a MySpace? <laughs> not even a MySpace, bro. There was AOL gra- uh, chat groups. Oh, and, we know uh, about that later. Laser Latino. And the, and the uh, acronym ASL. Age, <laughs> sex, <laughs> location. Yeah. Baby. That's all there was back in the day. So when you had to fucking promote a show, the only way to promote a show was to get flyers. And yeah. the only way to have flyers is a street team. Yeah. I remember being in line to watch fucking Lagwagon and No Effects or somebody playing at Soma. Yeah. And just whistling, whatever, bop, bop, bop. And then somebody rolls up and Hands me a fucking flyer. Yeah, I grabbed that flyer. Different world. You're like, you want to see some dude. real music? Yeah. Different fucking yeah. world, bro. Well, the yeah. fact that my mom used to just drop me off at the at the downtown one. Shit, at least your mom <laughs> fucking <laughs> dropped you off, bro. Yeah. Shit, yeah. like we, all day. I got that fucking flyer, and on yeah. that flyer it said headlining POD, NIV, no innocent victim, and then introducing Dogwood. I yeah. was like, fuck. I'm down because I remember Dogwood <laughs> being on a not they weren't from Chula Vista and for the longest time I thought they were South Bay as fuck. Yeah, no. I don't know why I thought they were South Bay as fuck as of Rescue Records being yeah. down here, you know. Yeah, and then I saw POD. That's fucking that's hey yo that's Palm City. That's down there. That's, yeah. I'm I'm in. So I remember being about that, and that's when I first was introduced to like what POD was, and now it's like. Everybody has their introduction of what POD is, bro. <laughs> right. <You've, laughs> there's certain bands in the South Bay like, oh, the B-side players. Oh, that's my cousin. Yeah, yeah. That's my cousin. That's <laughs> my cousin. Yeah. POD is the same fucking way, dog. Yeah. You, you bring a POD anywhere, like in San Diego, it's like, oh, yeah, 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 the drummer. Yeah, that's my cousin. Yeah, dog. Yeah. I cut his hair, whatever. Yeah. Trent, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I fucking know that fool, bro. That's my guy. That's my guy. Sonny, it's a little harder to connect with you. You're, 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 you're the Barack <laughs> style. Yeah, you were the Royal. You got it. Oh, I am a golden <laughs> god. You know, you're like, <laughs> it's a, it's a little like different. Privacy, yeah. Yeah. But everyone else like, oh, Marcos, that's yeah, yeah. shit. That's my cousin, and exactly. that fool looks like everyone's cousin. And even if you don't know, him. <laughs> POD became like a point of reference for any new band that came up. Like any band I've ever been in, you play the right riff, you're like, okay, POD. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. it was like you're either trying to be Blink Wade too or POD if yeah. you're from down here because it's like that's all we got. That's you brought right. so much shine uh-huh. to South San Diego. The boys collectively in POD, Payable on Death, provided so much shine to South San Diego and what we were about. About and the crescendo was the video Southtown. Yeah. Did you feel a certain level of responsibility? I was like, fuck, all right, now we took South San Diego on our back. We got to carry that flag everywhere we go on tour, everything we do. Do you feel like in the comedy world, like uh, the older generation having to give back to the younger generation and introduce kids into the comedy scene and how you do it? Did you feel you had to take bands under your wing and yeah. show them what the ropes are and how to yeah. fake, pay homage? Well, I think we were already doing that with the bands that you mentioned, you know, because we were doing shows with them 
you know, but I don't I don't think it was ever a responsibility or a, a burden. It was just it was pride, just, maybe. Yeah, pride. it we just it was natural for us, you know. And so I mean, every record, you know, we're, there's, there's got to be a song there where we're talking about our city or where we're from. It's just it's natural. It's not contrived. And um, you know, again, but that there's a price to pay for being authentic and genuine. It's sometimes you can only go so far, and it's just waiting for you know to be a pioneer of something. You can only go so far because the next guy's gonna take it from you and try to claim it and make it their own. But they can't take where we're from and. Like you said, with a lot of those bands, that's why I, I I dug them and stuff, but I didn't I didn't connect. And so if that's what we were able to do for even the the majority is or minority was just connect, then that's that's then that's why we exist. You know, it was never to play this big show or do that. It was it was more about connecting. And I think we 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 still you do or or we would have stopped. You know, I, um I would have quit a long time ago, but. I'm still blown away 30 years later that um, we're still doing stuff that people that people get outside of. I mean, people come up and they're like, "Dude, you guys rock!" And I mean, dude, that doesn't it doesn't move. I'm, I'm grateful. Yeah, yeah. But when someone comes up and says, "Dude, I, you know, I was gonna kill myself and <sighs> and I had a gun in my mouth and and a live came on the radio, and then I knew that I was that I you know I had purpose or you know to me that's divine. And then it's like you hear these stories or the you know, these young girls that are cutting themselves. And then, you know, um, we have a song called Beautiful that was high on the rock charts. And then now we're reaching even younger generations that, because we're old, you know. But then when I have a mom saying, hey, can my daughter meet you real quick? And she's telling me the, the daughter's life story just like that. And my heart's breaking as a daddy. And then this girl runs up and she's like collapsing in my arms. And this happens, not, this, is multi, this happens all the time. Not not credit to us, but it just shows you that okay, maybe I'm still supposed to do this for a little while, yeah. you know. And then, um, you know, that's the stuff that's moving. Inspirational music, man. Like you said, oh. the album droppers uh, alive nine eleven, you know, yeah. and being yeah. a youth of a nation. You just yeah. cut those songs, those videos. There's a bunch of videos that you can find on YouTube or TikTok or whatever that use the backdrops of those videos as like people's testament and be like, yo, if it wasn't for this song, I would have oh, dot, dot, 100%. dot. If I didn't hear this song at this time, I would have fuck, oh shit, wah, yeah. wah, 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 You know, it's like, that is crazy. Yeah. That must take on a whole fucking a whole different level, level, bro. Yeah. A whole different meaning, bro. Like I said, I would have quit a long time ago. It's just, I hear you guys talk. Like, I'm, I'm a family guy. I got two, three kids and it's like, there's been a sacrifice to that because we've had to be gone, you know, because we've we've put into what we do because we believe it. And there's so many times where, you know, I just wanted to quit and be home, mm -hmm. just get a nine to five. <laughs> yeah. And I would have too, you know, but again, there's, thank, there's, thank there's God you did meaning. it, man. There's, yeah. There's a reason. You know? Dude, my nine, my nine year old, if it's of, of any meaning, hey, Rock says, Youth of a Nation had to school every fucking day. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, well, but he's a weenie. Where's it like this? <laughs> it was like this. He doesn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's good looking and has style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something you know nothing no, no, about. He's, okay. he's rocking his like Jack. He's like rocking in youth of a nation, bro. A little that's hat awesome. every day. Just go. I'm like, all right, man. I, you don't know what that means yet, yeah. you know. But what you're doing, I, 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 we take credit to that. Like, good. We're teaching these little fuckers well, bro. <laughs> you bring a lot of fucking he heavy fucking weight, a big presence, bro. I don't want to put my wifey on blast. Now that I put my son on blast, but my wifey on blast, bro. Bring them all well, out. Well, uh, <laughs> once upon a time, I remember we were barely dating and we've been married now 18 years in August. And I remember she's like, oh my God. I say it's Miller's Outpost. She said it was Anchor Blue. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm, at pa I'm at Plaza Bonita and fucking P.O.D. They're signing magazines, some magazine. Right. Yeah. And As she's like, leader, yeah. I'm fucking staying in line. <laughs> I, was like, yeah. I was like, get that That's fucking a... magazine signed, bro. And she signed it. It was probably Miller's Outpost because we old as fuck, bro. Yeah, yeah. But, but she was there just waiting in line. She got it signed. She still has it, bro. It's like one of those core memories, That's mementos cool. that she has with her. We were, and I'm going to use one more, Wapa, sorry. We were at fucking uh, Home Depot. And she's like, oh, my God, my sister just saw Sunny from P.O.D. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, I'll just tell you, fool, this is the fucking weight and the heaviness that you bring here as just being you. Awesome. You know? 
She's like, oh, I'm so I don't know what to do. And that was I guess the last time we ever saw Steve. Yeah, right. And I guess I guess my sister in law went up and found you and brought you back with her. She's like, oh my god, my fucking sister just brought Sunny back from COD from POD. And she's like, hey, how you doing? Uh? Oh my god. And my sister, my my sister, my wife is just fucking That's straight so and funny. narrow, bro. We're fucking we we know we're hardworking people. Yeah, we're yeah. do we're doing our best <laughs> to be our best and raise our families. Yeah. We're not raw raw people. We're not hypey people. We're not about that life. But you bring out a certain level of that in us and That's us fair. kind of people, bro. Yeah. It's a manner of pride. It's a manner of honor. You are from here. You look like us. We, you know, we eat at the same places. We go to the same spots. Yeah. It's just, it just means that much more to all yeah. of us, bro. How That's the fuck amazing. does that feel? That's amazing. That's overwhelming. No, it is. But like you said, it's a, it's a just a sense of pride. You know, my son asked me the other day, he's 15, and he said, like, what, what other bands, you know, from San Diego? Because... You know, we've we've carried that. That's a I mean, even even when I intro like a song, we can be in Singapore and it's like I we always tell people, you know where we're from, like and they know what song is coming up next. It's South Town. Oof. You know what I mean? Like people know we're gonna play this because we've we've carried that. And you know, and again, no disrespect to Blink One Eighty Two, but my son was like, Fuck So up. Blink One Eighty Two? They from San Diego. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fucking Barry. <Yeah. laughs> I feel like <laughs> He's just crying in the corner. Uh, like, that's North tattoo. County. Okay, yeah, it's different. It's DJ different. starting to shake. I'm not gonna say they're not, you know, but it's not my Sandy. Their Mexican food is from sombreros, bro. Yeah. That ain't yeah. us, bro. Yeah. Yeah. There's a sombreros in IB. <laughs> oh man. But I think people. That's not the one they were going to. They were they were happy. It was just more like, okay, what do we have? You know, uh, that's what he was. He was at um El Pollo Grill and he saw, he said. uh then he saw Ruben. He said, "Oh, that's my uncle Ruben." And then, then he saw us. He said, "Oh, that's my dad." You know. And then he was just seeing all you know these these people from the neighborhood that, that on this little mural and stuff. And he was proud. Even in El Pollo Grill, he's proud with his homies that his dad was up there, and he was oh, recognizing yeah. all the people you know that are from here. And I think it's uh, you know, when, where we come from, you know, there's not there's not a lot. It's not. I mean, not in, not. I mean, there's people that are doing their things, but. It we is, usually do our thing in the thing. shadows yeah. <laughs> and, and away from hey, the public eye, bro. Speaking of murals, ground floor mur murals should do shit. If I don't get a fucking mm. POD, POD mural in the bag of three punk, bro, right. Paul, this is that where you at, where we Paul? tell people how to do their job. This, this, <laughs> <for. laughs> yeah, this is the portion of the show where we Hello. tell people what the fuck. You know, it'd be a really Hello. good idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to oh, do. A, we have to do a, a, a charity beer first. Oh shit! Let's Whatever the fuck. We don't Dude, drink here. Yeah. We don't drink. <laughs> this segment of yeah, the show we only is brought to you our alcohol here. <laughs> mm. Oh My man! My wife's and like, "How are you gonna do a charity beer for for a, a youth of the nation for like kids?" And I'm like, "Hey, their parents can drink." This fool just did <laughs> careers yeah. day at an exactly. elementary school. Yeah. <laughs> they, they had on four twenty. On four twenty. I mean, they, your core <laughs> demo is probably like our age. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you I, guys are still young. I'm old. No, fuck that. Bro, I did no. a, a career day at a middle I'll take school it. on 420, and I had to represent the brewery, the bar, and talking shit on a podcast. I told that school, I was like, what the fuck are you teaching yeah. these kids? And then kids? he had to go straight from there to a dispensary. <laughs> I was like, thank God my kids don't go here, fuckers. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Let's talk about labels. Let's talk about labels, because if I feel like POD has been throwing labels left oh, yeah. and right, bro. New metal. Yeah. Christian rock. I think Christian rock. I don't know why. I think Creed. I don't know if they're Christian. Oh, rock. they're very Christian. Yeah. Okay, but I think Creed. I think of like not even Creed. Uh, I think of like DC Topper. Topper. What's that one? Striper. Striper. Oh <laughs> the yellow and black guitars. D DC Top. Oh yeah. yeah. And, and the leotards looking like yeah. my buddy Please. opened for them like not too long ago, but he's like an acoustic guy. Oh, <laughs> he wow. sat so down. I'm like, how are you gonna sit down in front of a fucking <laughs> hair metal band? Like you gotta stand up at least. Come on, man. <laughs> Is that something you guys just accept and say, whatever, par for the course, we gotta deal with this as being who we are? Or do you do something and just try to be like, that's not us. We're not about this. I don't feel like this label represents us. I don't feel like that 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 category is representative of what we do or what we've accomplished right. at some point you just stop arguing about it you know um i think because you know and obviously we were young and we were just so immature in the way we but we came from that hardcore mentality or you come from that gang mentality too so when i became a, a christian and i don't even like saying that because of what people think of christianity comes with a lot of connotations exactly. bro comes so with a lot of baggage institution of church and christianity i hate even saying that but i I believe in Jesus. So technically, I'm a Christian, right? I'm a little Christ. So in doing this, 
you come from that mentality where it was like, and we would play with all the skinhead bands and we would play with everybody, but it was more like, hey, this is what I believe in. If, you know, I'm, I'm ready to throw down if, Whatever. if you got a problem yeah. with it. But then once you start to learn your faith, we're like, wait a minute, I'm, that's, that's how I was raised. I'm supposed, now I'm supposed to be loving and kind and all these, you know. So, but we were very open about our faith, right? Whether it was immature or not. So, but when, when, when someone start, tries to categorize you, that's when it became a problem because it wasn't like Christians embraced us. It wasn't like the church embraced us. We were, we we weren't, we couldn't be good Christians because we had tattoos. We, mm. we, we, we weren't good enough Christians. Because, you didn't look like a good Christian. Exactly. Everything. The metal we were, I mean, the metal, the music we were playing was not of God, you know, according to Christians. So <clears throat> I had more problems with the, the Christian world than I did secular because we're playing bars. We're not even 21 and we're playing bars. We're, we're playing the clubs. We're doing... We're getting a, a name in San Diego, and everybody's embracing us. Yet the moment we try to do, a, or they, or we get asked to do a Christian event or something like that, or we didn't even get asked to because no. we weren't we weren't Christian enough. So that was always a sign right there that, dude, that's why we make music for everybody. So how'd you get labeled that? I I, well, I think as, with the lyrics and, yeah. and like I mean, if when when you get to the world, we're talking about like the mainstream albums. We it was definitely more universal. But when we were young, like I said, we were kids, bro. It was like. We were like in your face, but that was because we were just immature. That was you know? awesome, though. It, but but it's that's the music we came yeah. from. Like if you weren't about something, then you weren't about nothing. Mm-hmm. And so at the time, it was like I was learning my faith, and it was like I'm I'm down for mine, right? What's the hardcore band from Chula Vista that I used to fucking uh, House of Suffering? House, House of, of Suffering. They're Oof. a big big inf- like big influence on what so, you did. So when the guys would we would watch House of Suffering, that's when they asked me to be in the band because they're like we want to do something like that. They where they in- incorporated the the, the hip hop, right? Mm. Remember Daryl Blunt, rest in peace, all mm. those guys. So, and then we end up sharing um, a studio, a practice studio with those guys, oh, and yeah. they kind of passed the torch on to us, you know. So we always represent. We always mention House of Suffering. Yeah, yeah, House of Suffering, and they played a oh, fuck. I don't want to speak out of term, but they did play a big term in Zach De La Rocha and the way he did it, and how. Or what, am I tripping? No, no, you're right. Um, Zach from Rage Against the Machine. He used to be in a band called Inside, Inside Out. Out. Inside so Out. So they used to come. He used to come down Great and movie. watch House of Suffering. Yeah. And once, and mm. once he saw House of Suffering doing the rap thrash. Oh, thing, I want to do that. Yeah. But mm. everybody credits, you know, Rage and but even Downset was doing it. Downset that time. was yeah. Downset. They Downset. I remember. Yeah, forever. we're taking you motherfuckers into the weeds <laughs> right <laughs> now, folks. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. it. Do your <laughs> fucking research. There's Do an old your 80s research. Hardcore band called bugger. Cold World too. <laughs> yeah. you know about them? Yeah. The fucking the New York hard guys. Chula yeah. Vista hardcore. I feel like when people talked about hardcore as a scene in San Diego, it, all eyes were pointed in Chula oh, Vista. Oh, Chula, yeah, I'm broken. Oh, I'm bro- yeah. Remember, yeah. Uh, we gotta take offense now. Shout take offense. Hey, yeah. I'm old, bro. We're old. <laughs> it's okay. What Embrace happened it. to us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's gonna, a picture somewhere. I want to be 50, dog. In a couple Are you going to be fucking no, or not? Bro, Stop. if this is what 50 looks like, bro, I'm okay hey. with it. Hey. I'm all right with it. That's what you look hey. good. I'm about to discover Jesus, too, boy. Look <laughs> <laughs> at this. You a God. I'm in. No, I'm <laughs> down. <laughs> We've been doing it wrong this whole time. Hold <laughs> me, oh, me the light. Like, the older I get, the bigger my hats get. I just cover more and more. Oh, <laughs> Dude, Barry was so little. He used to wear his kids' clothes when he started the podcast. This fucker's wearing large now. I wear now, large bro. now. Look at me go. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you know the podcast is doing me good. <laughs> Let's oh talk gosh. about social media, the importance of it now, and the non-existence of it when you fucking started, bro. Yeah. How big of a role does social media play now? And then how does cult- cancel culture play uh, a role in that shit? I mean, it's huge. It's Bro, it's taken over the world, you know? I, and I, I hate it. If I didn't have to be use it, I would just throw my I phone feel you. I feel you. In, in the ocean, you know. Um, the only thing I dig about social media is the connection that you have with people that, you know, across the world. I, I get DMs from, you know, young people in Africa, bro, you know, oh, yeah. saying, Dude, I, I love your music, this and that. And I'm like, see, that's what's cool about it. Because you can actually, I, I take pride in writing back like, hey, thanks, dog. You know what I mean? I big, big up, Africa. You write back? Oh, wow. wow. Like, yeah. so. Huge. That means worth, so much. It's yeah. gotta be worth something. Like, That's you know? changing somebody's life, bro. But people always yeah. say, like, you probably don't even run your social. And like, dude, I don't even spend time on my social. Like, I, I'm just old school. You know what I mean? Like, and 
And obviously the people my age, not many of them are on social media anyway, you know? Mm. They're on like Facebook. They're on whatever. Facebook, bro. And I don't like <laughs> just getting political <laughs> arguments and shit. Yeah. No, mom. When you mentioned the flyers and stuff, that's when people care. Like you you put in effort and time and because <laughs> that's the only way yeah. you were gonna get people at your show. Now, I mean, unfortunately with that, there's bands that we take on tour with, bro, that I mean, they're they're not even playing their own instruments. They're playing all the tracks. Oh, they don't man. even hide it. At least before we play with bands where they would hide it. Pull right? their card, full. Pull their card. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Just let it flow. Just let it flow. But it's now, almost everybody. Yeah, yeah. No, now it is, and they don't they don't even care that you know anymore. So it's not about like you know my songs, my music, my integrity. It's your followers. It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it, yeah. My image. So if a band, if there's bands that will open up for us and they completely suck, they're not even playing their own instruments, but they walk around like because they have more followers than you, like they're, yeah. they're, they're their the band is shit. paid dues, yeah. and you're like this, this band sucks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do a restart. Do a restart on uh, stage. Like, yeah, all that why do we take on buy on bands? <laughs> <laughs> hey, isn't that crazy though? How you said you didn't grow up. But now, because you you grew up in this scene, you yeah. know, from the beginning when you guys started, and now you're like, okay, that band sucks. Like, you know what's good, you know what's not, right? Well, I mean, again, it's my my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> no, you are the lightning rod for what's good, sir. <laughs> yeah, no, you do. Opinion, like, you learn, you know? you know, the vibe and everything. Yeah, but you, I mean, anybody can watch some band and now... You're like that band sucks, and they have a million followers. That yeah. makes no sense. Like it yeah. doesn't take it doesn't take a musician. It doesn't take an expert or someone with experience. It just it, you like what you like. You know, yeah. but, Harry style. But it just Larry. sucks that it sucks. Don't that talk shit about Harry. That's all you. <laughs> 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 My child likes Harry well, Styles. <laughs> it's because it's cha- it's probably changed a lot, right? From oh, big time. Yeah. Well, because we were talking about it before. No one checks you anymore. Like you. There is if no you, resume checking. Uh, I hate if, that. If you said you, or you know, if you're this, your whole resume has to check out. Yeah. And now it doesn't matter. Nope. It does not matter. Damn. Your tattoo. It does not matter. Like everyone has tattoos, bro. Bro, that's. Mm. It, I wish there was tattoos. still that. That's like, why I tell where, kids now. I'm like, dude, the no tattoo is the new tattoo. I mean, like, real, t- the real time. The moment they come up with something, I'll probably wash it all off and start <laughs> over. Like, no. <laughs> how dare you? You know, uh, that's, that's years, dude. dude that's no. years. Yeah. Like bubble letters, oh, the, bubble, yeah. the bubble letters. Bro. <laughs> what do you kids listen to? Um, and does that motivate you to like fucking create based on their their preferences? I mean, I right love now? listening to what they do, but uh-huh. I just I feel like, and I try not to be the old guy that, again. You know, like, this right, isn't music, crap. crap. You know? <laughs> what but the fuck? it is though. You know, there's, there's a, a bunch lot of, of noise, noise. crap, dude. Like a lot of the new hip hop and stuff, and I'm like, bro, this is just. So you, you don't like Takashi like Six Nine, is what I'm hearing right now. You don't like it's a product no resume, now. Dog. Zero just, resume, bro. I hate but it. if they want to go to a show of that person that you don't like, will you still take them backstage? Yeah, I mean, I love. Yeah, yeah, I love, <laughs> I love, I love experiencing that with them. But yeah. I mean, luckily for me and my wife, like our kids, pretty much they, we all kind of like the same stuff. Yeah. And mostly, mostly, I'll go see reggae bands, and you know, and it's like yeah. I, I never really go see heavy bands unless it's. Somebody. So they like reggae. Oh yeah, Kids yeah, yeah. Love that. Big time. I'm gonna go see um oh shout out, I'm gonna see uh Arise Roots um oh, nice. Thursday, belly up. Belly. Nice. Yeah. Best venue. Lo- locals oh, only question. It. Best <laughs> venue in San Diego, bro? Belly up. Belly up. San Diego adjacent. Belly up. Yeah. Wow, it's hey, nice. I fucking, I fucking. You gotta go to the holding bro. company one time. Dude, I'm not. I'm, that yeah. person. I'm, I'm at the no, age now where I buy the seats upstairs mm. and I get to like look sit. down on well, everyone. That, I get to sit. Oh my god! No, no, no! I don't you want just to said, be squished up with you everyone. You just said it. You like to look I, down I, on people. Well, you uh, look down. Uh, oh, uh, she, fought, she said that's that. what they do at the wellness center. <laughs> I mean, the peasants don't know. I love it. You get to sit up there. You get your own cocktail person. Locals only Just question. What's your go-to taco shop in, in, in San Diego? I don't, I don't have a go-to. Uh, oh. I, there's not. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> You're open. Yes. He's He's trying trying to, He's trying to San Diego. El Norteño. <laughs> was, was your go-to burrito? What was your favorite burrito? Oh, I could still go to like Lolita's. And- yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Farfan. Yeah, I know we're on yeah. right now. Hey, oh. Farfan, where the fuck you at, perro? Oh, we need some of those yeah. 90s yeah. burritos. That's yeah. Monday. Do you go to a specific bro. Lolitas or because there's like a multiple locations now? Um, Ballpark on, Lolitas. Yeah. <laughs> Depends <laughs> on where you're at. No, it used to be the one on Bonita Forever. Oof. Oh, yeah. Now yeah. now in um, in, in Eastlake, because my yeah. son goes to the high tech mm. out there. So Big up Chicle. 
Oh yeah, no, again, Chicle, yeah. Big up Chicle, bro. Casuela, <laughs> <laughs> dean of culture yeah, at High Tech. Totally made question. That up. I have like, a I question. This is uh, random because you were talking about Big Mountain earlier, and mm. I randomly saw Big Mountain or the singer of Big Mountain do his song on karaoke at Winston's. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm wondering, have you ever done your song on karaoke ever anywhere like random? Just to fuck people up. In just the look. Just the look song. that he gave Lexi right now. Watch, watch. <laughs> Put like, the camera on like, are you serious? Yeah, no. Sonny was like this. <laughs> <laughs> Lexi's from radio. She, just, oh <laughs> don't mind her. God. She's from radio. We, we have, but it would have been like in a, it would have been like in a, a in spot the dark in days. New York where like no one would Random, have known us yeah. anyway. Like it would have been like a hip hop spot. Yeah. Or, Bro, you're noticeable. They don't even know. Like, oh. Well, back then it was like, that's why I cut off my dress a long time ago. I just, I didn't want that to be my identity. calling card. I just started yeah. growing my locks back like about four, right before COVID. Just yeah. started. Damn, they're looking good. I was going to say. So how long did you not have your dreads? For, I cut them when my son was, it was about 12 years. Oh, that's mm. a long time. Yeah. I had them for 12 and then I cut them for 12 and then. Uh, was it hard? Like getting rid of a good friend? Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah it's emotional. Yeah. My wife was pregnant with my son. He's 15. Now I'm going to be 16. Um, and she was eight months pregnant. And we had gone through so much, so much stuff. And I was just going through a whole new season in my life. And I just wanted to leave all the control. I'll delete. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And so we were in the backyard and, and then I went in and um, she was pregnant. So I got the camera and I told her, Hey, take a picture of me and my two girls. And so she's taking a bunch of pictures. And then I had my girls, Hey, take a picture of me and mommy, you know, with the, and I had my dreads. She's like, what are you? <laughs> Every you know? picture of the dreads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, posing. I'm posing. Yeah, and then and then I went in and then I I got the scissors and I gave it to my wife and I boom, said, boom. Oh, I want you to cut it. Then I want Nevaeh to cut it and then Marley to cut it. And there, she's like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "Did they cry?" It. I cried. Oh, <laughs> I, I know a dude that had like dreads and accidentally took some acid and took cut them off because he thought they were snakes. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah. he, he's he was upset. He's, he's like woke up in the morning like, "Fuck, man." I miss my dreads. That's why I was wondering, like, if cutting dreads is a big deal. Like, is that? No, it, it is. I mean, it's, I never cut my hair ever. It's, so. it, did it, you it save is. them for a while, or did you just toss them? No, no, for sure, I saved. Now my yeah. son, he's, he's got dreads down, probably almost, almost to his, well, past his waist. But Hell yeah! For like, since he was five, then I actually have one where we just you tied we, it in. We sewed it in. Yeah. yeah. Um, actually, I buried my dreads in um in um in Israel up in wow. the uh, what is it um. Your dreads have lived a better life than me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never That's be buried in Israel. Cool. <laughs> I, always, I always had this story like, oh, I'm going to bury him somewhere, like in Jamaica. And you did. And, and I, well, I never did. But then when I, after I cut them, I went through this kind of spiritual journey and it led me to, to Israel. And so I, I brought them and then I got so, it was just such an amazing time that I forgot that I had them. And so by the time we got to Jerusalem, I was like, I can't. I can't find a spot and bury these in Jerusalem because I, someone's going to shoot me. You know what I mean? They're going to think I'm like a, a terrorist or something. So I thought, I said, Lord, maybe this means I'm coming back. So I ended up going back two years later. I brought them again. And I said, but I'm going to, where I wanted to bury them is, is right above the Dead Sea. Um, and the name escapes me now. But anyways, where King, King David was. No, you don't no, want no, people no. to know anyway. They're gonna go dig that shit up. <laughs> I know. Are you in Jordan? Jordan? I knew, no, no. Sure. It was it was it was right above the Dead Sea. Um, oh my gosh. Anyways, my dad is there right now. Oh, beautiful. And so, but it was it was raining, and so we couldn't take the the hike up the the mountain. So I said, "Okay, God, maybe that means I'm coming back." Two years later, Came I went back. back again, and I finally, I finally got and to buried take him there. off. Oh, yeah. No. Three oh, days later, beautiful. his dreadlocks came back. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like Walking to think around. there's a big oak tree that's it. <laughs> it's just got nothing but yeah. it's, it. it's a weeping willow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just some, like wah. Some tree. Look at before we get into uh, Lexi's segment, oh, Ideals Meal, I wanted to touch about you don't just talk about it, bro. You are about it. You know, you're a man driven by faith, you're a man driven by community, you give back, you do your thing. Tell us a little bit about the Youth of a Nation Foundation and the Whosoever's. Yeah. I mean, the, the Who Service is more ministry minded, but it, that, during that whole season I was talking about, like, bro, I just got so sick. We talked about this earlier. I got so sick of religious people and, you know, the institution of church telling everybody they're wrong and going to hell when that's not the gospel that I read. That's not the Jesus that I believe in. And so I just wanted to be surrounded by guys that and, and gals that got it. And so, um, I, like I said, I didn't even like being called a Christian because, I mean, bro, you can Google freaking KKK and they're seeing the good 
white Christian male. You know, I was like, I don't associate nothing. <laughs> I can't even spell KKK. Don't look yeah, at me, yeah, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I just wanted to be around people that got it. And that was, you know, there was at the time, um, you know, Brian Headwatch from Corn, Corn. The, the Metal Militia guys, you know, my brother Ryan, Lacey from Flyleaf. And they all worked in the real industry, bro. And they were just, you know, they just, we just wanted accountability. And, and so we just started more of a brotherhood, sisterhood that really just led to the opportunity to speak. Um, in front of kids and, and, you know, detention centers, prisons, um, rehabilitation centers, because these kids, you know, they, the way they, we look and because of our experience, you know, they're going to give you two more minutes of their time to listen. And, but we use that opportunity to go in the places that, um, that these kids were never going to go to a church. They're never going to, they have their hangups with God. They have their hangups with the Bible, but, but their lives, they're living desperate, you know? So it's like, I'm not trying to convert or tell you how to live, but I'm just, I'm just sharing my story with you. And so we do that with the Hussars. We've been able to go all over the place. Um, we we still do when we're not on tour, and it's um, it's a beautiful thing. Um, the Youth of the Nation Foundation. I, I started right before COVID, but then my my heart was to find a building, kind of like you have, and but just be more um, um, music and arts, kind of like a YMCA, but more music and arts, driven, yeah. skate park the whole nine. And, but once COVID happened, we nobody wanted to go inside. But as you know, whatever good luck would have it, I just. Um, partnered up with Borderview YMCA. Oh yeah, and um, they're going to the homie Justin. Yeah, yeah, with Justin. Yeah, That's how I met Justin. Fuck yeah. I love Justin. Yeah. And so we're gonna um, now. And I I just joined the board. You know, I'm sneaking my way in, and um, we're talking about after school programs, music. We're talking about a teen center, stuff like that. And so if um, you know, whatever we can do, like we want, I want to help um, um, fundraise to get their pool back up and going. But I want to do scholarships and stuff where these kids can come and. And be a part of that, and not have to pay fifty bucks. Uh, you know, they can have the pool, they can have the exercise room. If we do, we can do guitar classes. We can do anything, That's and because of the connections we have, you know, one day these kids will be showing up to play guitar, and you'll have head from corn teaching them. You know, and yeah, imagine like, Santana's there teaching oh, fucking yeah. to play guitar, bro. Huge. Oh, I already yeah. have. I would, dude, Andy. Well, YMCA doesn't have that. Yeah. I volunteer to give DJ lessons. See, that, but <laughs> oh even god, if we that's did a sexy. She'll teach kids how to get free sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's happening, bro. Get bueno, bro. See, because that's what I'm saying. There is no resume anymore to check this shit on people, but there is people's actions that you can go back and see what they're doing. Yeah, you don't just talk about it. You and your crew are actually being about it, man. And that you know, you know, bro. And and I, I hate. It seems so even contrived. I hate even doing it. Look at me. I'm feeding the homeless. Look at me. I'm doing a beach cleanup. Look, I, I. I don't even get into no, that. Note to self, that. can we stop doing that at the Evil <laughs> Brown Foundation? <laughs> <laughs> anytime, I mean, you have to, bro. No, anytime no, no. we do something, can we no. just not take a picture? <laughs> Mr. Torres. This is my bad, though. Like, people are like, bro, you, if people need to know that what, what you're doing so they can get behind it. So For sure. I'm learning these things, but that's part of my, that's just my makeup where it's like, bro, how can I film myself when my hands are covered in mud because I'm, mm, I'm building a you. well, I'm yeah, digging yeah, yeah. a well in freaking you. Honduras. Nice. I'm not going to sit there and, but... You have to because yeah. that's the world we live into. So that's my bad. I, I need to Social get better. Social media, that. bro. Yeah. We'll be down in um. We'll be down in um in Mexico this Saturday building. Oh, where are you guys going? Um, uh, I don't know yet until I get to the organization down there. It's called YWAM, and then they um, they it's usually like a weekend thing. Um, I'm going with a different company, but um, we do it in a day because they already build the slab and. Bro, Good for the, you, man. I love it, bro. Fuck hey, yeah. There's no greater joy, bro, than. Helping people and serving other people. I'm telling you. It's, I didn't know that until I had kids. I was a right? big piece of shit, fool. You know? Now it's just a little one. And I'm a little piece of shit now. I was a huge <laughs> asshole. And then we had kids and now everything affects me. Yeah. You know, every I always put my kids in that role or in that in that like uh, situation. I'm like, oh, wait, that would fucking kill me if that was yeah. my kid. Yeah. So now everything with me that I approach is just like that. Just you like that. To, yeah, it's man. It's growth. I mean, Ooh, you're, you're, I'm growing. Boo. You're growing. Huh? <laughs> and I believe there's... Well, you're uh, doing it for your kids. I am. Yeah. Real no, talk, man. Everything... And, and that's why I tell my wife, it. and I feel like that's why wifey is so supportive of me and lining up at Miller's Apples for you, <laughs> is that she's so supportive <laughs> of everything <laughs> I'm doing is because she knows that the end game is that I'm doing all this for my kids. Yeah. I'm doing all this so that pe- my kids can look at me and be like, oh, fuck. And now, to oh, an extent, what? my kids are like, oh, daddy and, and, and Emo Brown, and, and, and that's what oh, he's so doing. And he's that's why I never this. saw him. You know, yeah. And then, <laughs> hey, bro, <laughs> we just talked about let's that. talk yeah. about touring and let's talk yeah, about yeah, fucking having a family, dog. Oh. You got, there are certain sacrifices you have to make yeah. as a man yeah. and as a husband, as a father. 
that you know, like, and but more importantly, you got that person at home, your wifey, yeah. holding it down. You know, well, you get to have fun so on the road cool. doing your thing for your family, for the better, the better of your family and the growing. But at home, that stable force is wifey, oh, yeah. holding it down, 100%, raising the kids, bro. doing the things. Bro. My wife, we, we're we're high school sweethearts, so before the band, all the stuff we talked about, my wife's been there. I'll be married. Um, 27 years in Get November. It, boy. And uh, 31, 31 together. Hell yeah. yeah cool. And bro, I, I, there's nothing more. I, you could say you've played this, you've sold this many records. That stuff is um, doesn't mean anything to me. But I'm trying to go all the way. I'm trying to be the best husband I can. And I'm not saying I am. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> every day I'm we try, though. Every day, every day we try. try. Every day we try. Every day. But when your priorities are, this is this is my family. And, and, and we come from a, you know, we, I'm sure all of us here come from families that could use a, a lot of or some relining, you know, and break some traditional family curses. Some so habits. That's it. So we can only do what we can do, you know. So big up to you for being a good husband and a good daddy. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying. Nah, bro, I'm trying to be a good husband. Hey, without wifey, nothing happens. Without wifey, that's like it, I tell my, my partner, like uh, Kevin is like, that's there's it. no brewery if wifey's not home no. holding it down. There's no fucking Alwood on my end if no. wifey's not. There's no this. There's no fucking Emo Brown if wifey's and, not holding it. There's nada, bro. And the wives don't get the, they don't get the credit that they, they deserve. That's why I make know? sure I, I do my best to fucking spoil her and do my yeah. thing and just shower. I get pedicures, bro. Tell, tell, <laughs> tell these motherfuckers you get pedicures, bro. You get what? What? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Street card that's removed. Not, that's not Southside. Hey, yes, it is. That's Eastside. That's Eastside. That's Eastside. Leave me alone. Yes, it is. Diva Nails. <laughs> Lexi, let's get into our oh, three. real quick. Um, oh, what's up, what's up? I, I believe we have uh, with Ruben Torres, right? Like, um, we're having an event. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're not done, fool. We're getting into oh, the right. questions. Yeah. And then we're we're relax, done. hey, fool. Uh, <laughs> Damn, this is just dog. Dios mio. It's going to be like crazy stories in the news. Um, so, my first story is um, there's a serial sp- Sperm donor by the name of Jacob BJ Jasbera. Uh, he's fathered 500 children, That's right. and apparently because of this, he's been ordered to pay $110,000 if he plans to donate again because they're trying to prevent incest. Was it and like all child that. support? I think I sent oh. Eric the photo of him. My favorite line of, uh, of, of Lexi's fucking thing is when she says, I think I sent Eric a, a link. Can you, Eric, Eric, can you check the link, Eric? I sent pictures of every one of his 500 children. <laughs> no, the subject was incest. I didn't open it up. Oh, no. 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 500 children in the oh, wait, world. I know like three uh, girls that look like him. That's <laughs> yeah, that's PJ's dad. That's the guy. Yeah. My okay. dad looks nothing like me, actually. It's crazy. <laughs> My mom looks like me. So he's going to be fined $110,000 yeah. if he indeed chooses to continue to donate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Basically. I mean, God um, damn. <laughs> that's the worst. Why is the picture in the but woods? But isn't it wild like, that he was hey, able to seed? donate that like, many you. times? I don't think I've donated half of that in my life. <laughs> I mean, that's a business. Okay, question: Would you guys ever donate? I mean, you guys are all wait, 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 wait. Time out. Uh, yeah, we talked about Lexi, this last week. Last week you talked about selling eggs. <laughs> Zygotes. This week you're talking about selling. Sp- what the fuck is going on in your life? Sorry, it's the news. What's going it's on? the, it's the news. news. She's looking for a the donor. The news. <laughs> no, it's called no. an algorithm. You, yeah. would never, you would never <laughs> donate your sperm, I, Steve? I would not. I, I don't think. I have a vasectomy, I I so I can't donate my sperm. That's you know, crazy. You can't. I don't so this is hypothetical. Yeah, I had three kiddos already, and, I, and he made me go through I mean, like, what's analysis to fucking Eric, get a vasectomy. Eric, so, is it for money? Yeah. Like, yeah, no. what's, a, what's the compensation? Donation, then? I mean, or donation. What if you had a family, I mean, a lesbian really family that wanted a kid, and they and you were close with them? Would you ever? Damn, Lexi with the fucking Damn. scenario. <laughs> scenario. <laughs> Put that cancel cam on Casas real quick. Cancel cam. I fucking uh, I would not. I mean, yeah. fuck. I it's a hundred per donation here in San Diego. No, right. How many can I donate? A hundred dollars a day. I think per day. I make two hundred bucks a gig. I can donate twice a day. Twice a day. That's it. I'm switching careers, Fernanda. Sorry. I Music think the, is done. The most I've ever donated in a day was three hundred worth. <laughs> 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 then you fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't asleep for the week, and I was like, oh, I was like, well, I was like, put a takis in my mouth. Bring me, bring, me, bring me a banana and some socks. Not happening. Bro. All right. No, well, no, you no, own okay. a couple businesses, so uh, I'm not fucking donating. this is changing the subject. Okay, so there's a Chicago Popeyes employee. He trashed uh, the restaurant that he works at after claiming that he didn't get paid. 
for an entire month. Um, I and there's a video a of it so you guys can see. He went in there. He must work at a certain mad. bar on Third Avenue. He trashed the entire mm-hmm. restaurant. He even stole the money from <laughs> the cash register because he didn't get paid for a whole month. Damn, this is what happens when you don't get paid for a month. You put chicken on the floor? Oh, put that shit Where the fuck are the pita people? Hey. Fuck that. I think it's wrong that they didn't like the pay music. him. Oh. You think a guy this that's working at Popeye's has disposable income to make it through a month? I don't. True. Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck so wait, Popeyes. you say no, that's wrong? No, I don't. I think what he did is perfectly fine. She thinks he doesn't need Dog poop. Oh, yeah. I don't know, CC. How about just CC's into like down. revenge shit? Yeah, no, see, I did I'm happen. Shit all over I this did shit. happen. CC, fuck the man. <laughs> Listen, but I did happen. But he was parked in the to... driveway, blocking the car. <laughs> I yeah. did happen to have an, an employer that wouldn't that five paychecks bounced. I won't name who it is. Do we know him? Yes, Elwood. we do. Do I know him? <laughs> yes, you do. And um, is he a neighbor? He is, and oh, I Mr. Rogers. had five paychecks bounce from him, and the last time it happened was on my birthday, which I had unavailab- unavailability on. Are you going to cry? No. Oh, yeah. fuck that. <laughs> I didn't trash the bar, Damn, but got- I did have an open tab for everything he owed me, and then when it was done, I closed the bar and threw the keys through the window. Well, wow. see, that's that's different, You because you earned that. To go and destroy, like that's just... Two wrongs don't make a right. I, I, I disagree with that. And how many times did he speak up? They don't tell that in the story either. Like, hey, man, right. like, you haven't paid me. He That's waited a clearly, month and then just destroyed the shit. He checked his bank account when he walked out. See, and, and the money I see just it beyond yeah. that. <laughs> At what point did it get to that point? Yeah. Like, month, we don't know. Come on, we yeah. personally yeah. don't know. But I, had, I worked for my employer for years, and it happened five times throughout the year. It's just one of those things mm-hmm. where I think, like, that was – that's got to be the tipping point, and that and you guys saw something very ugly come out of him yeah. and reactionary. I think you I'm not did, saying you did it that in a it classier was like, way, where you're like, "Hey, drinks for the homies." Like, but can you get imagine my money what back. that guy is going through? He's working at Popeyes. Have you ever had a Popeyes? Well, what if you own that Popeyes? Popeyes? If I own that Popeyes, yeah. and I'm, I was looking I'd be at heated. them like, I'd be a little heated. He's gonna lose a lot more than his money. Mm. You know yeah, I, mean? So. I mean that's true, but it's one of those things that you have to have some some type of integrity communication, communication. you yeah. have it, yeah. times yeah. are hard Listen, at the bar communication is key at the brewery <laughs> would you ever do that key. steve not pay somebody five months hell yeah hell yeah how long have i been on this podcast yeah. the crack. Yeah. i know some motherfuckers that i wouldn't pay at all just <laughs> shit <laughs> he knows some motherfuckers owe him money that's yeah. fair i <laughs> see how i see your side sonny i just can't imagine what that guy no, is going so, through yeah, yeah yeah i would rub shit and on the chicken before i get to my next story yeah. i just have to i just remembered because <laughs> cc said at her birthday it's also cc's birthday month Oh, is it? Oh, time, 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 time. She hasn't even mentioned it. I don't at all. want it mentioned. <laughs> all right. Thank you. I, I want the world to know my eyes. May is like an iconic month. <laughs> oh, wow. So all iconic. of a sudden. Nice. You were, were you born in May? I'm born in May. Yeah, we're born right next to each other. I'm born May in May. May 28th. Sick. May 28th. When are you born? May. Are you really? <laughs> are you also May? 16th. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, you're my oh, second day. Yeah. We got the Tauruses and the Geminis yeah. in the house. Or Taurus. <laughs> May, putting it down. Is that an M? I yeah. feel like my birthday's in May, so I'm just saying I'm in May. May, we be holding it down. <laughs> We're called May Bays. Mayo Brown. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> I'm not in May anymore. All right. Okay, so this next story... Oh, April? Okay. April's good. <laughs> yeah. Let's shout out all the months, baby. So, uh, court, uh, court rules a company wrongfully, uh, they wrongfully terminated an electrician who apparently Turned they off the claimed the <laughs> was drinking on the job. And the he won the because they couldn't, they couldn't prove that he was drinking on the job, okay. basically. So, uh, he could Stock drink beers. Photo, like courtesy of Lexi. <laughs> Okay. No. <laughs> All right. Thanks. We don't have Work his photo. We don't have his photo. But those what are I, electrician what hands. What I was just saying. <laughs> sure. Okay. Sure. In the past, I have gone to happy hour before work. I'm sure you guys work in well, the alcohol industry. Before doing that. You know, um, <laughs> is that a thing? Is a, California is an at will state. Yeah, I wouldn't so even mention it. Okay. I wouldn't yeah. be like, if you're coming up drunk, I'm just like, mm. you know, we're done. That's why you're my partner at the Elwood. Get it, girl. <laughs> at will. Yeah. No. You don't have to give it an explanation in California. Listen. Listen. Listen, Linda. Listen. Linda, Linda, Linda. Linda, 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 listen. There's a certain level of um, free will that we allow people at the brewery. Let's start at the brewery. At Three Punk, 
I want you to drink. Have a shot, a beer shot. I want ideally to take a sip of each beer that we're pouring to make sure you identify, okay, this is good. This one's tasting a little off. Let's remove it, whatever. Like before you give it to the customer? Like, no, like in general. Like, you know, okay, boom, I'm going to try this. The objective is more I know what to recommend or I know yeah. that this beer is good. Not the objective, I'm going to get on a sick one and party with my peoples mm. all night. You know, that's not the objective. And we've had those conversations, and they're difficult conversations, but they're, they're conversations that need to be had. Angel Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sierra, no, Angel, you're holding it down, baby. You're good. You're good. He's too drunk Leave to him alone. right now anyway. Don't worry about him. I will not let him trash talk my nah. bartender. Does Lexi He's still good. want He's a good. beer tender? No. I do. I do. She's all for you know what? On a Monday. On a she Monday. She's the juice it's back crazy. There. It's crazy. Can I do it next it's a, week? It's a crazy <laughs> industry that we work in. You know, and the Elwood is a little bit crazier only because it's liquor induced. It's a bar. So there's liquor. There's things that are more stronger than beer. We've had those fucking okay. covers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a shot of Perico? No, I mean, uh, <laughs> I'll have a line of tequila, please. Do you re- Steve, do you remember that when the day we reopened from COVID, mm. I had the opening shift and I had way too much to drink. I walked in on CCB on a complete and sick I was one, outside maybe laying down on a bench and Steve like wasted and Steve goes, well, if you're not bartending, who's bartending inside? And my response was, you are a motherfucker. Yeah. And like, oh, yeah. That was the one day where I was like, that's when you give you keys I'm to the fired. building. He's like, oh, so she's in. That's when you get the pass. <laughs> yeah. we, I, it doesn't we happen turned her, often. We turned her into a partner of the bar that day. <laughs> <laughs> And Elwood is now an owner yeah, of the Elwood. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not an owner of the Elwood. It Elwood. happens sometimes. It outside. doesn't happen often. <laughs> good on you. We had yeah, a good, we have, that yeah, was a one week. bad You're about time. in the music industry. Don't name names. You gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, don't name names. But it, there's situations where, like, you've been a rock star for 30 years, bro. Well, wait, 25 years because you grind. You guys were grinding no, we've been seven years 92. hard. Well, yeah, yeah. No, grinding seven, to yeah. get to that rock star yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. And then once you hit that rock star level, you've been on that level for fucking we've decades now. How hard is it to maintain that straight line? You are a very faith man, faith based man. I see you trying every day to do the best you can yeah. in your environment for yourself, your family, and everyone that you represent. How hard is that, bro? It's still hard. I mean, you know, I mean, the older you get, it's more like you see through a lot of the facade, and then you also see the the tragedies, you know, and the stories. And you're like, I don't want to, I don't want to do that, or I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. But you know, when we were just coming up, I mean, obviously you try to walk the line of, you know. You're always going to be faithful. All these things are going to be good. But you're, it, we were like kids in candy stores. You know what I mean? I remember going to the first <clears throat> huge party in New York, and it was like a Def Jam party. And we're seeing all the these hip-hop stars that we grew up to. And it's like, you're not going to not go. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean you have to go and get all crazy. But, it, you know, you just you try to ride that fence. But then, again, there's still a, a – uh, there's a balance. Like, do I want to be that guy? No. no. Have I been that guy? Yes. You know what I mean? Like, you just, the fun gets to you. But the the long term, when I see people, I'm like, oh, man. You I'm, grew up in that shit. You don't want to go out like that. Yeah. yeah you grew mm-hmm. up in that. Your rock star life, you grew up in there. Yeah. You saw it all happen. Yeah. I You've mean, seen you see, friends go through it. You've seen probably bandmates go through it. You've seen touring yeah, bands yeah. go through it. It must get tough, but those talks need to be had every now and then. It's yeah. yourself straight and people that you love straight. I, I think when you don't buy into it, like to me, it's always been fake anyway. So it's like, why I'm not going to let myself get lost in it. Like we've, we've had the best of times. Some of my greatest memories around the world with people that I love, you know, playing music. But to me, it is, it's, I've always seen it as Hollywood and mm. I'm just like, I'm not going to fall into this. At some point, I mean, I have ugly. good times. I still have good times. You know what I mean? I, I'd love, I love my guys, you know what I mean? I love when we go out I, and every time we get opportunity to play or go outside the country, like it's a, still a dream come true. So we enjoy every minute of it, but I don't desire to, you know, be that guy or, you know, be so faded and wasted. And I don't, I don't desire to have problems in my life because of it, you know? It's like, and, and, I, and I, just because I've seen it too much on people, which like, come on, bro, we could have a good time, but like this is way too much, you know? Put or the they walk that line where it's like, dude, you're gonna, it's not gonna be good for you. Oh, man, yeah, you've lived it, you've done it. You, yeah. that's a crazy. Bro, imagine being a rock star, Barry. Imagine taking what you do to the masses, next level shit. You would be wild, bro. <laughs> imagine I'm telling, me bro. with a fifty dollar tab at the Elwood. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 Sorry, that. 
That's right. That's but it's not sustainable, guy. though, man. <laughs> hey, it's not sustainable. It's, it's, it's a no. short fucking yeah. wick, bro. You're burning yeah. out quick on that. Yeah. And, yeah. and it, it's just, it's dangerous. I mean, we've all been. Look at yeah. CC and I, we own bars. You know, we own a bar together. Mm-hmm. You know, Kevin and I, we own brew. I, and I was telling, I was telling Sunday before we started, it's like, you know, you have to be very disciplined. Because mm-hmm. when we first opened it, I was wild, bro. Yeah, I was yeah. like, fuck, there's beer. I seen you. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. I, I saw you that, that one time. <laughs> I was like, like, I'll see you again. You know, I was like, there's beer everywhere. And it's like, and I, I had to sit down. Game, right? yeah, and I had to sit down with wifey. I was like, yo, fuck, this is, there's beer like fucking yeah. everywhere. There definitely I, and, and, comes a point where yeah. like, all right. And it's like, you yeah. don't buy shit. They just bring it to you. And I'm like, oh, hey, 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 yeah. hey, hey. and that's like low, le- low level, low tier, like fucking just here salvation yeah. imagine being <laughs> yeah. a yeah. fucking yeah. rock star and imagine all the jujitsu moves you would have done on people <laughs> bro i would have jujitsu everybody <laughs> everybody <laughs> i would have been like oh this was oh, called no. so this was bad called the time. baseball call no. what time what the fuck? that one time i caught you at the elbow yeah yeah and i was like what's up he's like you're just a fucking crappy <laughs> man <laughs> what the fuck? is that why we ditched him <laughs> that's why i don't go out anymore yeah. that's why i don't drink anywhere outside of the house or if i'm dinner with the family bro you just learn you yeah, learn yeah, yeah. And, and it's one of those things like sonny yeah. said when he started he was a young kid kid in a candy store fucking willy wonka coming now with this cane <laughs> trying to kill everybody <laughs> he's like hey yo we'll, we'll try this shit bro yeah. try that oh sing this try sing that. and he's trying it uh, and then he's like, yo, I don't want to try this shit no more, dog. Yeah. You know, the fucking Oompa Loompas come out and they start getting <laughs> wild, bro. It's real talk. It's just a matter of like knowing your limits. Yeah. And, and and that's where wifey What's comes What's crazy is play. that the young kids now, it seems like they're not like that, huh, Sonny? Like, uh, well, the younger bands? Bro, it's because, I mean, look at social media. They promote, all they're promoting is the glamour, but they're not promoting yeah. the, the death and, yeah. the, you know, all the other stuff. Um, so our kids don't have that fear. They think, they think it's cool. And like, yeah. that's a responsibility yeah, I never wanted, I never, if I'm going to promote anything, I'd rather promote that you're, you know, you're good, you're kind, you're healthy, you take care of yourself, not, not do that. Yeah, yeah. But people have no, they just throw caution when they don't care because it also makes them cooler too. You know how many people are, are promoting and, and, and they're completely sober. They're not doing it. They're actually pretty, pretty they live they, healthy they lifestyle. Do like a, it's like a business. They're riding yeah. skateboards with no wheels. Oh, dude. Mm. One of the first times I remember playing with some, this heavy band. And they're on stage and they're just like, what's up? Mother? You know, everything is, they're so tough and everything. And then let's you, call them Pantera. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the same thing. I remember that's, you get into this shtick where you're constantly promoting this lifestyle, but yet backstage you have a life Camel coach, tea. you have, you have you know, yoga yeah. instructors, you're trying to stay sober and you're going out of your mind trying to stay sober, but you get on stage and you're like, you're pushing it, you're peddling it on, on people. Yeah. Um, and this wasn't the band, but the other band, they were like, in the parking lot, not the parking lot, the backstage, bro, and they're like, the guy's voice was so high, he's like, hey, what's up, bro? And he's like, dude, who's over? And they're cooking like figs and all this vegan <laughs> stuff. And I'm like, bro, I would have thought you eat like raw bloody meat, like yeah, carcasses, yeah. the way you act on stage. You mean like, like John Mayer smoking crack yeah, in the parking yeah, lot? Yeah. yeah. So that's Donovan the facade. Frankenfurter is like, what's up, perro? Uh, you guys want some of this? <laughs> yeah. That's when, fake, that's when it's fake. That's when it's fake, and you're like, dude, don't, don't. Yeah, man. I started seeing. I a lot see of more pre. I see more preaching from you guys than guys. That they they think because I'm a faith that I'm gonna be the preacher. It's like you guys are doing more preaching than anything. But the not thing living is, it. You're not living yeah. it. Like, yeah. if you're gonna go up and say one thing, and you're gonna be all satanic, or you're gonna be, then at least. Dude, I have more respect for you if you are. I'm eat a not bad just, head, fucker. Yeah, yeah. You're not down. Eat a bad yeah. head once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Draw a pentagram once in a while. Come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> Lexi, what else we got in there? Oh, that was it. That was a wrap. But yeah. I just wanted to say is that um, you know how you were trying to ask him about the genres earlier of like how or like your label, how people label you. And I've always thought of you guys as like positivity and everything you sing about is super positive. Mm-hmm. And I don't know that there's many bands or like there's probably more artists, maybe different genres probably have more positive music, but not in like the rock industry right. as much, right. I guess. Um, and hopefully that happens. I don't know if you know of any that are like kind of doing that. Path. I mean, th- there is, and but I think because I didn't grow up in rock and roll music, I I am influenced by the you know the the Bob Marleys of the yeah. world, reggae music, you know yeah. Santana, like all mm-hmm. this you know Bad Brains, uh, PMA, mm. all this attitude. So when we I just happen to be in a rock band, so I'm not gonna all of a sudden start talking about 
stuff I don't believe in or stuff that I don't know about. It's like, well, I'm still trying to be me. I'm still trying to be positive. Yeah. And that's how we always did label it, where people would try to throw us into a religion. And we're, we would just say, dude, we're just we're positive, just like these bands, yeah. just like Bob Marley was. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you don't have to be a Rasta to listen to Bob Marley. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. just <laughs> so. But the yeah. dreads help. Yeah. <laughs> but the dreads. <laughs> hey, Barry, true or false, we're growing dreads now. Fuck yeah. I'm in, bro. I'll grow one. Really? That's all I got left. <laughs> My mustache really? will be a dread or something. I think it's time. I need to get blessed by Sunny to do that though. I got my fucking oh, dread. You just gotta do it. Oh, just, I, I'll only do it if I could sew one of yours into mine. Oh, and yours into mine. Yeah. <laughs> but the same, like, we'll be walking. Like Siamese twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a picture I'll share with people on the Patreon later. <laughs> That's a different dread. That's an emotional dread that I'm experiencing right now. Sunny, what do you guys got coming up, man? <laughs> um, we just finished a, a record, so we're just waiting for a release date. So super excited about that. Um. I did a bunch of solo reggae stuff when uh, during COVID, Oof. and I was hoping to, to get it out. But is that coming out ever? Though it will, oh. it will. And you know, I'm with all the guys, AK and, and Luis, and all those guys. So we're always it's doing coming stuff. out, bro. <laughs> Even Carlos. I remember listening about hip. Like, do you? He said Louis. You hear that? We are going to we are going to Louis Castle. The pirate, <laughs> el, pichi, el pirata, el pirata, bro, el pinche compadrazo, el carnalazo. Rast, what is it? Rasteca. 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 Oh, dude. Oh, but that's probably one of the wildest dudes in South Bay. Fool. Yeah, but hangs yeah, out with John Mayer. We huh? welcome the Rasteca. Big ups to him. To I want to hear these. Hip hop things you created during yeah, COVID, yeah. these reggae things. So that's coming out. That's something yeah, that will eventually. come out. Let's get this POD record out, and then um, we're just doing all the fly out um, shows. Uh, once the record comes out, I know it usually tour for like two years. Next year, we'll probably do all overseas non-stop. and stuff. Yeah. Oh, two man. years of a tour. Well, usually to promote Damn. a record, you know, like it just stay, you stay busy. You just, you look yeah. it. You don't, you don't need to pay for anything, Jog. You just tell me where the tours are and we'll show up with three punk ale beer <laughs> and we'll just fucking <laughs> we'll podcast. Are your kids, are your we'll kids <laughs> old enough now to come with you if they wanted to? Yeah, I, I actually, my, my son, I, um, I homeschooled him the first like uh, four or five years just so he can go on, on the road with me. That's so awesome. his classroom was you know, was the back of the bus, was the green room. So, you know, when other kids are, before they were even learning about, you know, um, whatever history, you know, we're walking around Philly and Boston and New York, you know, and Mm -hmm. so he's got a whole different experience. Does he play? Yeah, yeah. Does he he play? He plays the drums. That's the best education in the world right there. Life experience, going out, seeing what dad does, You can interview him, bro. He's going to be 16, but he's he's like a I need a permission slip sign, bro. I need a permission slip sign. (laughs) He's a good kid, but he, he, he loves, I mean, he grew up on the road and, um, my kids too. They all did, but there was a season where I took some time off. And but they, they're gonna go with me in a couple of weeks. We do that sick new world in Vegas. Oh, that nice. that May thirteenth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's gonna be bananas. May thirteenth. May thirteenth, sick new world, Las Vegas. Yeah. July fourteenth, incarceration yeah, in we'll Ohio. Be, yeah, we'll Ooh, September first to third, Rocklahoma. That's, yeah. that's weird that you'd bring up Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only state that's round on both sides. The and home high of in the middle. Miracle Whip, bro. The home of Miracle Whip. Get Just it, for the tickets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you still get motivated to go on tour. Yeah, I, I, um, especially with COVID, like yeah. there was um, I was like a timeout. I was like, always, oh. com- yeah, I was always complaining. Like it's a love hate rel- relationship. You go out and then two weeks in, you're like, I miss home. You oh know? yeah. But and I was always complaining. Now I don't complain after COVID. I mean, once they said, oh, we're gonna be locked up for two three months, I was like, cool. I just get to be home with my family. But after a while, fast forward like, two years later, really do it. yeah, <laughs> you're like, this is what I. As much as I hate to admit it, this is what I. But I am, you know. Mm. Do you have to do like a preparation, like gym, all this stuff, or do you just go? I don't. Do I look like I'm? <laughs> <laughs> I need to. No, 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 no. He's no, I preparation I saw, no, yeah, yeah, I watched yeah. this new edition thing, and Bobby Brown and like all these guys were oh, like, "Oh, we gotta work." Oh, yeah. No, but some of them were like, "We gotta get into shape because oh, we're gonna be sure. running around." You know, uh, yeah. I lose more weight on tour. That's why I love going on tour. I actually eat better and I lose weight just because. You know, you're playing an hour and you a half. Meal prep, or you out minutes. drive through all every day? No, but I'm a foodie, so I don't eat like I don't, no, I don't like. Bato, I don't he, like he finds Mr. A's in every fucking city. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go food, there, dog. You know? I'm gonna go there. <laughs> Good mm. on you. Let's talk about Ruben Torres. What are we doing for Ruben Torres coming up, bro? Um, so June third at the courtyard, um, I'll be announcing. We're gonna do like just during the day. Um, we're to fundraiser. For his wife Rosa, they've been uh, she's been battling cancer, and so their bills have piled up. And 
you know, Ruben's a community guy. He's raised money. He's done stuff for years, and now it's time for us to do something for him. So Ruben has done a lot for a lot of people yeah, in bro. South San Diego, and it's time for people to dig deep That's and right. do something for him, bro. That's right. So uh, whatever we can do, okay. and we being all of the things, the brewery, the bar, the podcast, and all the homies in our network, nice whatever stuff. we can do to step up to help, and I know – uh, Theo Bobby has step, uh, yeah. reached out and told us, hey, man, we need this. I'm fucking in. Yeah. We're in, dog. Nice, bro. Thank you. Yeah, um, Bobby Tribal's involved. The Servants guys. So, Cloud, a bunch of San Diego companies. Um, we have committed. Uh, Frankie J's going to... We're going to do, like, All-Star Jam. Frankie J, Andy Vargas from Santana. Um, Sick Jack from Psycho Room told me he's going to come... Jam. You know, they'll probably Hell do a yeah. couple of songs. And then um, some local bands... Around. Barry just bear up. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> uh, so, Dude, Frankie J was singing the national anthem yeah. at Mexico City, pero oh, no bro. way. Bro, uh, I was I was like, so where is Frankie J? Yeah. There's no video? You didn't get a video? I got the video. I just oh, okay. didn't, didn't give it to Casa. I saw it. Yeah, yeah. Frankie J out there doing things, yeah, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that, busy. Dude, you working. are a part of that brotherhood, that family, yeah. that whole thing here in San Diego. It makes me proud, bro. Look, oh, I, like I'm, a, I'm proud. I, and, and I'm on the outside looking in. I have San Diego tattooed on my back and I have Chulipas on my arm just <laughs> watching you guys do your thing. And I'm like, that's that, awesome. Those are our people fucking raising yeah, us up yeah. and just fucking on a megaphone pimping out how yeah. awesome San Diego is to the world. Oh, yeah. And uh, um, Ray Mysterio as well. I'm going to hit oh, him up, yeah. see if he'll Ooh, come through. Shit. Oh, yeah. That put us on a whole different map. Yeah, Once we hit that bro. wrestling world and that we did that song for you, you get people that look like Barry <laughs> up in this shit, boy. It's a whole different world, bro. We you get Ray Mysterio on here. Song too. Yeah, yeah. Get Ray Mysterio on here, Eric. What's up? You're not down. <laughs> no, that's my connect right here. No, that's <laughs> it's straight to the source. He lives I in think PG wants wants to wrestle wrestle door. Door. Yeah, Fuck yeah, let's no, go. No, no, I think he's in Vegas now. <laughs> Is he a Vegas guy now? Yeah. Fuck, he won't be doing Peco shows? No taxes, bro. Yeah, exactly. Dude, you've written songs for the Padres and the Chargers, bro. We just, I mean, we were just doing it for fun, and it just stuck, you know? Yeah. Yeah. They were requesting. Hey, they came out in wrestling one time, too. Did you really? They played live. We right? did uh, We did WrestleMania in Chicago when Ray was a uh, team <laughs> that was Oh, I was sick. Yeah? yeah was How is that wrestling oh. fan, bro? It's, yeah. a, it's, next a level. it's like a ne next level type of oh, fandom bro. out there. Wrestling a lot of fans, fans not a lot of deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> wrestling fans are a whole, that's a whole different ball game. Lexi and I went. Kind of a sick one. We did yeah. go here in San Diego. Yeah, we were yelling. Oh, I don't even know what was going on. I was just it. We were like three rows back. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, you get into it. You're just like, hey, when I was just Rome. yelling. I like, went in Rome. <laughs> yeah. So we'll figure it out for El Compa Ruben Torres. We're yeah. all big fans of him. As soon as we get more dates, information, and for locations, sure. we'll we'll pimp it out, promote it on our end, Thanks and see so. what we can do. In the meantime, bro, hey. Oh, man. Gracias, Sonny. Thank you very much for taking yeah. time out oh, of your busy schedule to come out and just share your story, man. It's it, it, it been time. a privilege and honor to shoot the shit with you and ask you questions to kind of dig in your brain and see yeah. what you're all about. I'm growing dreads, perro. Ah. Me too. I'm growing <laughs> dreads, good, bro. All right. <laughs> Guys, let's wrap this motherfucker up. It's let's a good one. It. Let's go. <laughs>